What is up my friends? It is the quarterfinal of the Europa League. First leg at Anfield. Liverpool taking on Atalanta. The team news is in. We're going to go through it in a moment. The big break of news today. Diogo Jota, Trent Alexander-Arnold and Stefan Bajcetic are on the bench for Liverpool. So some really good news on that. Uh, delighted to see the boys back. No sign of Alisson as of yet. I see a couple of people asking in the chat. But we are in decent shape. Jürgen has... Well, he's shaken up the starting eleven tonight, and we'll go through that in a moment. Let's uh, quickly give you a look at the Liverpool team today. It is going to be Kelleher, Gomez, Endo, Van Dijk, Canade, Nunes, uh, McAllister, Jones, Gakpo, Elliot, and Chimikas. That's the starting eleven. As you can see on the screen, there is better. The way Liverpool announce their starting elevens these days, I hate it because they're done in, I think, numerical order, aren't they? So let's uh, try and figure out where we're all playing. So Kelleher in goal, obviously. Gomez at right back. Costas at left back. Van Dijk and Kanade will be your centre backs. Alexis McAllister, uh, Watoro Endo, and Curtis Jones. And Harvey Elliott, we believe, will start on the right side of attack with Darwin Nunes and Cody Gakpo, which means Mohamed Salah has been rested. He's been put on the bench. So that's where we're at. Uh, the bench for Liverpool, by the way, for those who haven't seen it yet, is as follows. It is Adrian San Miguel, Lucho, Dominic Soboslai, Mohamed Salah, Diogo Jota, Andy Robertson, Ryan Gravenberg, Bobby Clark, Stefan Bocetic, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Jarrell Kwanzaa and Connor Bradley. That is the bench today. So, how are we feeling? I'm sure there is um, going to be some mixed feelings amongst Liverpool fans about the team. We won't always agree on all of these, so... Um, yeah, there we go. That's the 11. How are we feeling? Are we going to get the result? Are we uh, excited? Because I'm delighted to be back watching the Reds again. I love this time of the season where the games come thick and fast. Uh, thoughts on the semi-automated offside tech coming in? It's about time. Yeah, it's about time is how I feel about it. Um, you know, the reason it wasn't brought in at the start of the season was a mixture of the Premier League clubs not voting it in and the technology not being tested with the Nike ball. But yeah, very good news that we will have it next year. The more opportunity we have to remove the lads in Stockley Park from making decisions, I think we'll all be happy with. The bench is mega, said AJ Walker. It's a strong bench. Yes, it is, AJ. It is a strong bench. And um, we won't be short of options anyway. I think it's fair enough we can say that one today. Uh, let's get it lads show some love for Craig and like the video ninja watchers love that Leon thank you so much for your early super chat mate and we are in the background testing a new part of our own technology today which makes it automated and a lot easier for our boys to pull up your super chats on screen so now super chats will be brought up will of course be read by me but we can also automate them to come up on screen within moments so Appreciate the guys working away on that in the background as well. Thank you to our friends at Lineup Builder who have been working away on that with uh, with us. So thank you for that. Lots more interesting additions coming up. And there you can see the Super Chat up on screen like we promised. Already read that one out, but it's nice to see it up there in all of its glory. And thank you, Leon. So, a couple of things, my friends. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let's try and get up to 1,000 likes again before the game kicks off. Uh, hey Craig, been watching for a while and just wanted to send this to say thank you for everything you've done. Harry, no need to thank me, my man, but it's beautiful, mate, that you've uh, been watching, that you enjoy it, and it's great to have you with us, sir. Thank you for your super chat, and most importantly, Harry, thank you for your support of the channel. Uh, right, what have we got? Thoughts on Amaram said he hasn't agreed to deal with Liverpool yet. Yeah. It's exactly what I would expect him to say, in all honesty. Um, he's also said he doesn't want to talk about it anymore. Look, what would we expect him to say when he's still in a title race with Sporting? Obviously, we all want this situation to be resolved and announced. But I'm very comfortable in saying he's our next manager at this point with all the information out there. But of course, it hasn't been uh, finished off yet. There are still some details to be ironed out. A couple of things on the financials. And then, of course, Liverpool have to agree that compensation fee or pay the bio clause with Sporting. So... All good, my friends, all good. I wouldn't stress about it. He's already informed the sporting hierarchy that they need to look for a new coach. So don't worry about it. Put it to the back of your mind for tonight and we'll concentrate on the game. Uh, what have we got? Love seeing Darwin on the wing. Come on the red, said Nui Osmani. Yeah, it, I think he's better on the left side of attack, to be honest with you, mate. So I've no issues with, uh, with him if he operates on that side. But it depends how we line up. I mean, most likely... 
Darwin will be on the left and Cody will be through the centre. But maybe Cody gets a run in his preferred position, which is wide left. So we'll have to see exactly how we line up when the lads are out on the pitch. Uh, strong win tonight. I'm thinking 3 or 4 nil. said Aunt Tim. Uh, Tayshon, great to have you and as always, my, my friend. I'd rest Maka and play by Chetich. It's not that big a game. Well, you can't play by Chetich. That's just stupidity. There's no way that you can bring a young man in that hasn't played many minutes this season and expect him to start the game and play the guts of 60 or 70 minutes. It's just not possible, dude. So he has to build up minutes from the bench. So no chance of that tonight for... Um, for Mc look, I wouldn't mind McAllister rest. Now I'm not I'm not against you on that one, my friend, but there's no way that you could expect by Chechich to start. Uh Rob Dance, thank you, Rob, for your super chat, said, Don't you think the guys came back late? Now everything doesn't depend on us. I'm talking about the race for the title. Uh I don't know with regards to when they came back, mate. I guess they came back when they were declared medically fit to come back, but I, I don't know. Let's just look at the positives. I don't like the negativity that's crept in over the past few weeks. The fact of the matter is, we're in a title race, we're in the quarterfinal of the Europa League, with a very winnable quarterfinal if we get the job right, and then we aren't too far away from that big finale in Dublin and a crazy, chaotic last seven games in the Prem. Uh, Alex Macklin said, you do a great job. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, Rio, thank you for your super sticker, mate. It's not Rio Ferdinand, but we'll take it. Thank you, Rio. Appreciate you. Uh, I predict Endo Man of the Match today, said Moore. I'm predicting... Oh, God. Um, I'm predicting another McAllister Masterclass. So, yes, let's go with that one. Let's have a look at our opposition anyway and see how Atalanta line up. So, it's one Musso in goal. Then a back three of Hien, uh, Jumitsiti and Zappacosta. Then Ruggeri, Ederson, Palasic and Darun in midfield. Tain Coop Miners tucked in behind Skamaka and Charles de Cattelaire. Skamata of or Skamaka, of course, you will remember from West Ham. And and De Cattelaire was at AC Milan now at Atalanta. I think that's a permanent deal, if I'm not mistaken, but very good player. I do like De Cattelaire. He has the ability to uh cause us problems, so definitely worth keeping an eye on. Will I be going to the final if we get there? Nope, I will be here with you guys, as I've mentioned on numerous occasions. Um, I could have gone to the final, but that would have been a bit of a shithouse thing for me to do. So, no, mate, I will be here doing a watch-along, doing match content with you guys, and um, hopefully enjoying Liverpool winning a, a trophy in Dublin. Am I using a speaker? No, absolutely no speaker. Don't know. I mean, I'm going to need more information than that, but no, no speaker. I just have my microphone and uh, moi. Let's dominate today, said Moore. Love that. Hi, Craig. I hope you and your family are well. Uh, we're all good. Yeah, thank you, mate. All good. Let's not underestimate Atalanta. They beat Napoli 3-0 last week. Again, it's not about underestimating. It's about believing in us. And um, we're a better team than Atlanta. And we should be able to show that over two legs. But, you know, they won't. we won't overlook our opponents. We've played Atlanta before. We know what they're about. We know we're going to have to work hard. But I said that at the start of this competition, I'm going to reiterate it now. Liverpool are the best team in this competition. And it's up to us to go out there and prove it. Uh, Liz said, sexy squad, sexy ass bench, let's <clears throat> go. Love that, Liz. Thank you. And it is, it's a very good bench, a very strong bench for Liverpool today. For those of you who haven't seen the bench yet, it's not very often you're going to hear a bench read out this strong for us. But Luis Diaz, Dominic Sobosloy, Mohamed Salah, Adrian, Diogo Jota, Andy Robertson, Ryan Gravenberg, Bobby Clark, Stefan Bajcetic, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Jarrell Kwanzaa and Connor Bradley. That is... A bench with options. So, yes, it is very good to have all the lads back. Uh, good luck with the stream today, Craig. Happy to have the lads back in the team and looking forward to that sexy Argentine masterclass. Yes, yes, and yes again, Harry. And, um, look, we're very lucky, aren't we, to have Alexis McAllister in the team and he really has been phenomenal, phenomenal recently. Am I watching the golf? No, no interest. I might watch a little bit of the last round, Alex, but not usually a golf fan, mate. Uh, that bench gives me a um, a hard one, is what Mr. Buffer said, said. So there you go, mate. Uh, I like it, though. I like it. Some people might find it a little bit over the top, but I get where you're coming from. Uh, do you feel we need to batter them tonight because next week, four games in seven days? 
I think it's... Ideally, yes. Ideally, mate, you'd want us to put three or four past them, wouldn't you, Andrew? But, you know, as we've mentioned as well, you, you can't assume that's going to happen. You've got to go out there and earn the right for that to happen. So, hopefully, we get off to a fast start. And, yes, it'd be lovely to take a few goals over to uh, to Italy with us. Your predictions for the other games today. Right, so let me try and think through. So, Leverkusen versus West Ham. No Jared Bowen for West Ham for either of those legs. So I think Leverkusen, 2-0 or 3-1. Um, Benfica, Marseille, I'm going to go 2-1 Benfica. Liverpool versus Atalanta, I'm going to go 3-1 to us. And what's the other quarterfinal again? I can't remember the other quarterfinal. What was it? Who was in the other quarterfinal? Oh, it's Milan against Roma, isn't it? Um, 2-1 AC Milan. So yes, that, that's my predictions. And thank you, Rob. Uh, should we look for another attacking option? Said H1 Talks Football. We probably will in the summer. I may depend on players who leave, of course. But again, I, I'm reticent to talk about signings, really, when you know there's a lot to be figured out before we start talking about who we bring in and stuff like that. There's three contracts need to be sorted. The manager needs to be sorted. Um, so, yeah, these are all things, I guess, we have to sort out before we start talking about who we're bringing in. You got the formation wrong. We have Nunes in the middle and Gakpo on the left. I, I don't care. <laughs> is, the, is the honest answer, Miles, mate? I couldn't give a shit. And you don't know exactly where we're lining up yet. The same way I don't know where we're lining up, mate. All we know is what the 11 is. And we figure it out when we see them on the pitch. And if it needs a little tweak, then no problem. Or we use a little tweak. But um, always so quick to criticise, mate. Always so quick to criticise. I love it. No, thanks for the content, lads. Appreciate the, the visuals. Just straight in trying to shit on everybody. Well in, mate. You must be real fun at parties. What camera are you using? It's a, well, a Sony something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not the technical guy. It's a Sony. It's just only a something or a C something. I don't know. I'll get the name of it for you, though. Connor will probably know what it is. Um, When is Alison back? Don't know. Don't know. He is, um, he is training, but obviously, as you can see, not on the squad just yet. So don't want to give you a false date when I don't know the answer to it. Uh, Lucho dropped over Nunes is outrageous. <laughs> Why do we go with the words dropped? By the way. Why do we go with the words dropped? It's rested, rotated, changed. Um, and also, Salah has been rested, rotated, changed. So, there you go. It's a Sony A6100. That's the name of the camera. Thank you, Connor. Um, there you go. So, yeah. Sony AS A6100. And they're very good, by the way. I, I really like the camera. We used to use um, we used to use web cameras, but they're just not as good. So we found uh, with a bit of research that this Sony, what's it called again? A sixty one hundred was was good, and I've really enjoyed using it so far. Uh, do you think Dan's will play off the next season on the bench? Unsure, Sean. He may go out on a loan. Um, Again, I mean, can we concentrate on tonight's game rather than talking about what happens with Dan's in the future? Or I, These are all things I can't really answer because I truly just don't know. But Jaden Dan's has a bright future ahead of him. Whether he needs a loan next season or not, I guess that will be up to the new manager to sort out over the summer. Uh, hey, Craig, hope you're well. I think Gakpo turns up. I think he does as well, Callum. Um I got what did I get? I got something like twenty two to one for a head goal from Cody Gakpo. So, yeah, I'm hoping he turns up. Do I want the sporting striker? Um, not particularly. No. Yeah, not particularly. Uh, again, I don't really know where to go with regards to transfers because you know that's a long way off before we start looking at how the team sets up for next season. Thoughts on Amram denying talking to Liverpool? Um, I don't... I think the wording of it is very cleverly done. He hasn't spoken directly to Liverpool, but his agent absolutely has. Uh, and the outline of that financial agreement is pretty much done and dusted there. So again, sometimes you have to look at the things that aren't said in these conversations. Um 
And again, I know people want to be the most negative in the world and doom and gloom merchants, but I'm not buying it, sorry. He's going to be our next manager. Again, as I've said, not having a go at you here, by the way, but just read what you want to read from it. If you want to be stressed and worried about it, go ahead. If you want to believe it, go ahead. It, you know what I mean? I don't know what else to say to you, mate. Nothing I can say is going to change what he said and how you interpreted it. You know, I can only just give you my opinion. I find a very strange rival fan saying he rejected Liverpool when he hasn't rejected us. Yes, but rival fans are assholes. You've got to remember that. You know, they don't have any interest in anything positive being said about us. Uh, Craig, you've been in top form recently. Hope you have good things come your way. Thank you, mate. Um, it's been a really, really tough last six weeks for me behind the scenes on stuff I can't really go into but I think I'm getting through most of it now and um, your support definitely has helped me through all of it and the live shows going live has been a lovely distraction as well and by the way on that we don't have a sponsor tonight because we are in ourselves our own sponsors so tonight rather than reading out a sponsorship pitch to you I'm simply going to just give you the pitch about the live shows so if you want to come and see us in Belfast on May 31st or in Dublin on June the 2nd. Tickets are on sale right now. You can scan the QR code on the screen or you can just go straight to Ticketmaster and search Anfield Agenda. Cannot wait to do the shows. Very much looking forward to uh, meeting you guys in person on the nights and having a bit of fun. We're going to have music with us as well. We're going to have some fun and games and we're going to make sure that we all leave that show feeling happy, singing, dancing and having a load of uh, fun basically I can't wait I'm already starting to write the show and uh, we're going to have a load of laughs so if you want to come and see us tickets are on sale the Belfast show is moving quickly so if you're going to come to Belfast I would genuinely urge you look at those tickets uh, as soon as you can because the Dublin show is a bigger venue we've got more availability but the Belfast one is starting to move quite quickly so again would love you to come and see us um, is Jota on the bench? Absolutely. Absolutely he is, which is great news. Jota by Chechich and Trent all on the bench tonight, which is great for Jurgen Klopp to have the boys back. Do I have a favourite celebrity? Um, I don't know about a favourite, but of course there's lots of uh, celebrities that I admire, but I don't know if I have a favourite. I uh, thought the sponsor was the Sony A6100. No, no, no. We very much paid for them, mate. Trust me. No sponsorship going on there. Um, are Atlanta any good? Yes. I mean, they're good. We should be better. But certainly, they deserve respect. You don't get to the quarterfinals without having something about you. And um, yeah, I think we certainly have to be at our best tonight. But they are a good team. But I think we're a better team. Uh, Scott said, Belfast ticket bought yesterday. Love it, Scott. And genuinely, mate, that show surprised us how quickly the Belfast tickets are moving. We uh, we expected it to be a bit more of a, a push needed to sell the tickets. But honestly, Belfast has really surprised us. Um, so, yeah, if you are looking at Belfast, fair enough. The Dublin one, we have lots of availability because the Academy holds about 400. So, on the Belfast one, I can't wait. I'm buzzing. Could be our first ever sold out show, which would be amazing. Uh, you're the best, Craig. Nunes on the left said, Cammy, good. I mean, I'm interested to see how Gakpo gets on tonight. I hope, like the chat, that he has a good game. And um, hopefully we, we get the job done, whether it's from the bench or however. As long as by the time the ref blows the final whistle tonight, we have a couple of goals to take with us to Italy. Should be all good. And just a reminder, the second leg is next Thursday. So, yes, pretty short turnaround this time. I live in Belfast, but I'm not 18 until September. Oh, so close. So close, mate. That, sorry. that I'm sorry that it is an 18s event. Um, it's the license and laws for the venue. But, oh, sorry about that, mate. I honestly feel terrible now. More. Uh, Atlanta to get us on the counter-attack. Uh, we'll look to get us on the counter-attack. I mean, okay. Hopefully they don't. Why are people so negative about us? Or even our own fans are like, just be happy. Enjoy it. Look forward to it. Um, 
I don't know. I'm I'm far more positive about our season than a lot of people seem to want to be. Uh, we're still joint top in the Prem. Yes, we're behind on goal difference, but there's seven games to go. And this quarterfinal, quarterfinal European night at Anfield, I'm buzzing for it. I can't wait. Uh, me and my friends were debating on where Trent plays in an uh, Amarum 3-4-3 system. Um, is he going to play central midfielder right wing back? Again, I don't know the answer, Luke. Um, I would suggest midfield, but again, I'd be just guessing, mate. Um, you could make a valid argument as you and your friends debating there on which one is better suited to him, and it would be a fair argument. I just don't know what. The future will hold under Ruben Amram for Trent and what position he, he will view him in. Protest on the cop tonight. Yeah, it's um, it's one I don't agree with personally. But again, each to their own. Everybody has a right to protest. And it's, it's a beautiful thing that that right is there. I just don't think this is the right battle to pick personally. But as I said, each to their own. Uh, that will be happening. What will be happening in the live shows? So music first and foremost. So we'll be having sing-alongs. Uh, hoping we'll have a live guitarist with us. Pretty much hope that yes, we'll have a guitarist with us or a DJ. Worst case scenario, but most likely a guitarist. So we'll be having a sing-along. We will be playing some games with the audience. We'll be discussing Liverpool, what it will look like under Ruben Amorim, what the season that we've just finished with Jurgen Klopp looks like. We'll talk about Klopp's legacy. We'll have lots of fun, basically, and interact like we do on shows here. It'll be very much an audience participation type show. So hope that answers it for you. Anything else, my man? Always happy to answer. Because um, I asked that question to myself when we first decided to do a live show. What on earth does an Anfield Agenda live show look like? It's a fair question. Uh, so appreciate you, my man, and I hope to see you there as well. What do I think of Cole Palmer replacing Salah? I think that I don't want Cole Palmer replacing Salah. Uh, one, can you imagine how much Chelsea would ask to pay for him? Two, I don't think we need Cole Palmer. Um, yeah, I, I get it. Like People want hot young players that are, are doing well but you know we missed that boat Cole Palmer went to Chelsea and I certainly don't think they're going to be looking to sell him anytime soon uh, hope Trent by Chetich and Jota get a few minutes at the end I agree be lovely to see them out there Craig dance party yeah it's a big Craig pyjama party we're all going to be coming out in onesies and, and uh, you know no it's going to be me giving a TED talk on geopolitical politics Will you be doing anything in the West Midlands, mate? Um, probably, yeah. Birmingham is definitely on the list of places Connor was looking at for shows. Um, we only have four booked in so far. Belfast, Liver Belfast, Dublin, Cardiff and Liverpool. And the Cardiff and Liverpool shows aren't going on sale for another six weeks or so. Uh, Craig, would you cash in on Salah and Alisson this summer? Salah, yes. Alisson, no. No. Um, yeah, Salah, yes, Costas, yes, Allison, no, um, Gakpo, no, I'd hang on to him, um, Reese Williams, sell, Tyler Morton, I'd probably sell, um, by Cheche, or sorry, Thiago and Matip, I would obviously allow their contracts to expire, Adrian, same thing, um, I think I've pretty much gone through what who i'd move on anyway uh fair play for giving it a go mate hope you smash it well i started training and i'm not even joking johnny my man i started training yesterday with my psychologist for the live shows uh because what i struggle with in these events is what i'm very good at here so when i'm here with you guys during a watch along or a stream i'm present i enjoy it i i'm in the moment when i do a live show or at least the first one I did, I felt very much like I just had to get through a routine, if you get me. Like, I had to just do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. And I don't remember much of what happened. I don't remember. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't take it in. I got through it. And it was lovely at the end. But I want to make sure that this time I'm there and we have fun. And I remember it. You know, I want to see, remember people's faces. I want to remember being there. Uh, 
yeah, it's simple things, but this is the way my mind works. Uh, I'm not happy with you thinking Salah is dispensable while Darwin and others are not. I don't give a fuck what you think. I couldn't care less. It's my opinion. Same way you're entitled to yours, I'm entitled to mine. And everyone's dispensable. So again, I'm going to say it to you. I don't care about your opinion. Tell it to someone else. I'm entitled to my opinion. And you are, of course, entitled to yours. But am I here attacking you for your opinion? So I don't care if you're unhappy with me. You're not me ma. <laughs> Get over yourself. The absolute entitlement to say that like. Weirdo. Um... So your first show was like a wedding. <laughs> uh, probably, I don't know, yeah, I didn't. Uh, the wedding wasn't much fun either, to be honest with you, for different reasons. Uh, with regards to Alison, will he need to make an appearance off the bench or would he start immediately? I would say, oh God, yeah, difficult one for a goalkeeper. Um, because, you know, you're not going to go through the same amount of distance covered or fatigue coming back as a keeper. I would say he could probably come straight in from the start as a goalkeeper. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting point that you raised and I've never really given it much consideration before. Uh, I love you, Craig, but personally I think Atlanta will win tonight. Strong, strong midfield. Hey, that's okay, my man. I appreciate the kindness and I hope you're wrong, obviously, on the result. How do you think Elliot will do tonight, said Nathan Carrison. I'm never... I'm always a little bit on the fence about Elliot playing right wing. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I like him on the right wing when he's got Bradley or Trent there overlapping with one. Maybe Gomez will do a similar job tonight, but um, I'm just glad Elliot's getting a start because I do think his performances as of late has earned him a start. So the fact it's on the right wing wouldn't be my ideal choice, but um, yeah, just happy he's getting that start. Look, I wanted Jurgen to make some changes, and he has. And I can't really ask for any more than that. Uh, I didn't miss Iona, uh, excuse me, Iona Pay. I didn't miss your super chat, mate. I just hadn't got around to it yet. Uh, we played Nunes as left wing. Gakpo as a number nine at the end of the FA Cup quarter final with poor results. If we do it again, uh, it would be on Klopp, not on Craig. Klopp, Craig rocks. Thank you, my friend. And again, apologies. Just you know, I, I won't miss your super chat. Don't worry. Sometimes we have a new system in place, so we're the timings are a little bit uh, all over the place at the minute for me because I'm just getting used to it. But thank you so much for your input on the formation and of course for your kind words, mate. I really appreciate it. Uh, Davino. I put $5 on Darwin to score from outside the box against Sheffield. His block clearance, I forgot until now, I won $80. I had the very same thing, mate. Um, I had, I don't think, I think I had four quid or something on it. And um, I came back and checked my bets. I was like, oh my God, that won. I forgot all about it because it was a blocked shot like yourself and I never thought of going back and checking. But nice, nice little surprise there for both of us. Uh, tonight, I got him a 22 to 1 for the same thing. Uh, ended by Chechich. CDM rotation, absolutely. Josie Coastal, I'm right there with you. I think ideally going forward, that's the dream, right? So, my friends, I need your help. We've got 437 likes and we've got 32 minutes to go to kick off. So, if you haven't hit that like button, please do. We'd love to try and get to a uh, 1,000 before we get underway. And, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Uh, the game on Sky or TNT? TNT, Tim. All the Europa League, or all the European games are always on TNT Sport in the UK. Uh, how do you think Elliot will do? Uh, I think I've covered that one already. Okay, I'm not as big a fan on the right wing, but he's a clever footballer, so I hope he gets a goal. Actually, I'd love an Elliot goal tonight. Uh, Craig, will you please stop quoting Petro Sepulveda is the creator of his own stories, misquotes his sources. No, I won't. Um, again, like every other journalist out there, we give you a whole load of different opinions. We've covered Fabrizio, we've covered James Pierce, we've covered Petro Sepulveda, we've covered CM Journal. Um, we've covered lots of different outlets around lots of different things and Again, I understand people have their own journalists that they agree with, don't disagree with, but it's not my job. It's my job to 
talk about the stories, give my opinion of them, and ask you guys what you think of them. So I absolutely respect that maybe you, you don't like that particular journalist, that sound. But again, you know, I don't have my own ranking system of, of journalists that I like to say this, this, and this. We just present what's been spoken about. And um, I gather you disagree on how far along the stuff is with, with the manager. That's, of course, your prerogative. Um, but it's my job to inform people of what's being said. Simple as that, really. Uh, what's Ruben's personality like? Is he a chill or animated? Oh, no, he's animated. He's animated, yes. He's very much... Um, He's very much animated on the sidelines, but what he won't do, he won't talk about referees in post-match interviews or anything. Uh, he's very steadfast on that one. But yes, you will see some animation on the sideline if he becomes a Liverpool coach. Craig, uh, do you think VVD will score? Again, <laughs> hope so. What was that? I got fourteen to one for a VVD header. Um, so it's like you guys are just saying to me, Craig. I know you have this bet on. What do you think? Because you, you you've pretty much nailed my bets. The little few bets I have on tonight. But yes, uh, I hope Van Dijk in Europe. Yeah, I hope so. Because maybe Premier League defenses are a little bit more um, used to what Verd does. But whether it's him or can I feel Canada is due a goal. By the way. I remember when we played Benfica, didn't he score twice, Canade, in one game against Benfica? So, yeah, I think Canade's due a goal. Why are people so angry with Salah being benched? Because they're not Liverpool fans now, Mad. That's the reason. They won't say that to you, but they just love to, you know, give out to the rest of us and tell us that we criminally underrate them or that we're racist or that we're Islamophobic. Or that it can't just be that he hasn't been playing well. And that's the reason. Because they're Mohamed Salah fans and not Liverpool fans. Anybody with half a brain cell that actually supports the club will realise that Salah, Darwin, both of them probably deserve to be benched. And Klopp has benched one of the two. And in my own team selection, I had the one who benched Darwin and was playing Salah. But people just love to complain at us, no matter what we do. They always think there's an underlying nefarious reason. And it couldn't possibly just be that he hasn't played well that's the answer again they'll disagree and they'll probably shout in the chat but that's the answer and that's the truth they don't like the truth that's they're tough uh should we move to three four three and we have Sobosloy and mac is box to box eights i don't think you're going to see jürgen change into a three four three no um he's been very steadfast in this four three three system or a variation of it and I don't think we actually have the personnel to, to play the 3-4-3 three, three. if we had an injury or two. We, we do need another centre-back, at least probably two. Uh, Gomez first goal tonight. Oh, I'm here for it, Jason. I'm here for it, mate. I'd love it. I'd love a Joe Gomez goal tonight. I would actually always feel a little bit more confident of it being possible if he comes from... The left hand side, um, but on the right hand side, you know, it's not he's not going to drift in naturally onto his right foot. Uh, Amram has denied us. No, he hasn't. Again, people just <laughs> fuck me. What has Amram said? He said I haven't spoken to Liverpool. Did he say his agent hadn't spoke to Liverpool? You know, because Liverpool wouldn't have had a chance to speak to Ruben Amram at this point. That's what his agent is for. So again, I would say, look at what hasn't been said rather than what has been said. But if you want to piss and moan and be negative about it, absolutely a prerogative. I'm just fed up of it. I'm honestly fed up of our fan base being so negative about everything. It doesn't matter what we say. Somebody's going to piss and moan about it. If you want to be negative about it and don't think he's going to be the next manager, wallow in that negativity and, and enjoy yourself. But for me, I'm just looking to enjoy tonight's game of football, have fun. And um, whatever happens, happens. But your comment just isn't true. He hasn't denied us. He's denied speaking directly to us. If you want to put a bet on anybody with me, I will happily throw down 100 quid to say he will absolutely be the next Liverpool manager. But other than that, there's nothing else I can really say to... Con what did you expect him to say? 
Oh yeah, I'm the next Liverpool coach. Never mind sporting the double that we're chasing. I'm distracted now and looking at Liverpool. Do you think that would be what any professional would say? Anyone? You know? No. Uh, it's not like you would admit to it either way. I know. I just don't get it. I don't. It's like some of our fans think we are this tiny little insignificant club and everybody else is better than us and everybody else's players are better than us and everybody else's fans hate us. Just get over it. Just enjoy where we're at. And where we're at is in the quarterfinal of a Europa League and joint top of the Premier League behind on goal difference. That's where we're at. And yes, Jurgen's the part in the club and Ruben Amram most likely will be the next manager. Other than that, there's nothing really to be said. Uh, I think it'll be Nunes on the left, Gakpo through the middle. Well, that's what we've changed it to as well. Um, we initially did have it as the other way around and um, stop being trolled. I'm not being trolled. The person who said the initial comment is not a troll. She's somebody that is a long-term viewer of the channel that I always have a lot of time and respect for in Queen Nadra. On this occasion, I disagree with what she said. That's not being trolled. So don't tell me what to do when you haven't got a clue about the relationship I have to the person that made the comment. I'll decide what's a trolling comment for myself. Thank you very much. I don't need to be mammied by yourself, mate. And Queen Nadra is not a troll. She's a very nice person. We just happen to disagree on this one thing. Uh, if we do not score more than two goals when this leg, we'll struggle in Italy. Will we? Why? Because you want to have a negative outlook on it? My Jesus. I don't... The negativity is so... Weird. If we don't score 73 goals tonight, we're going to struggle in Italy because it's mosquito season. It's the most random, weird mindsets. I don't get it. I'm just so glad that none of the people that think this way are in the dressing room or on the pitch or are related in any way to the club and the outlook because I'm delighted with where Liverpool are. I'm, Of course, there's little things I'd like to change, but... Again, start of the season, I would have bitten your hand off to be here. To have one trophy done, to have a quarter-final of another one with a very favourable pathway through to the final. A final in Dublin to look ahead to if we get there. And a historic close three-team title race. What isn't... This is what we live for. This is... Remember last year? I would have bitten your hand off for this last year. Okay, yeah, okay. again, I agree with some of the commenters. Now, I'm not sure if they're being aiming these at me or at each other, but yes, can we stop the negativity, you know? Because we don't want to talk negativity. We want to be positive and we want to look ahead. And um, there's a lot to be thankful for and a lot to be happy for at Liverpool Football Club right now. So, uh, yeah, get on happy team. The happy team's way nicer, trust me. Uh, COJ Simpson died today. I did, yeah. Yeah, so terrible. Oh, God, the world's lost a real low life. I did see it, yeah. Um, it is what it is, you know. So, a couple of things that did happen today, though. Um, the semi-automated offside technology will be implemented next season. I think that's a good thing. Would love to know your thoughts on it, of course. Um, we had been linked to Jamal Musiala today, but... I think it was more so City have been strongly linked to Musiala and Liverpool name were thrown into the article. I don't believe it's uh, it, it's going to happen. I don't think we'd have the money needed to go out and pay Jamal Musiala's fee to Bayern. And especially if you've got the likes of PSG and Man City in, you know, we know we can compete with them on a financial footing. Uh, also, did you guys read that story today that Figo nearly joined Liverpool in 2005? But we... Um, What's this he said? We hummed and hawed about it a little bit. And then he went and joined Inter. Ugh, imagine Figo. And now 2005, he was probably past his best best. But still, 
would have been nice having Figo in a Liverpool shirt. Uh, Liam Mansell, how are you, buddy? Lovely to see you in again. And the family are well. Thank you, mate. It's okay, Craig. These people don't know uh, we've gone on to win it all. Exactly, Gio. Exactly. And they'll be here giving it the, yay, we did it. We did it. Same people who were like, give it the title away. Give it away. It's all right, mate. We'll, we'll push them forward in positivity. It's like we haven't conquered all of Europe. And it's like we're going to stop. You know? You know the rest. Uh, stop bloody crying. Chat is full of talk about the game. Chat's full of trolls. So is Twitter. Don't read it. Uh, again, I pick random comments. I don't proofread before I read them. And um, again, it's just potluck for me. I pull out a comment and I read it. And if it's negative, it's negative. I, I don't proofread them, you know, because I don't like dead air time. So I like to try and move through things quickly. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Can we see a dance if we win the Europa League? I mean, it will be a bad dance, but I'm sure we can give it a bash. Uh, Liverpool, uh, thank you, my man. Appreciate you. Thoughts on Dennis Siver? Don't know who he is. Sorry. Uh, don't know who he is. What's this one? Sorry. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, Craig, my friend said they're sick of supporting Liverpool because they're terrible. Then your friends are idiots and you need better friends. Um, yeah. They switch the city. Well, then they're not Liverpool fans. They're not football fans. They're idiots. I'm sorry, man. If, if that's all it takes for them to change clubs, then they're pathetic. So you need better friends. Uh, can we see your socks if we win? No, Liz. No, no, no. Made that mistake once and I still have flashbacks of it. Uh, bah, 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 bah. How's the family? Good. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, yeah, good. All um, healthy and well, which is all we can ask for. And I hope things are good with you. Is Mo Salah leaving Liverpool? I don't know the definitive answer. Kieran, um, if, if you want my opinion, I think probably. But I, I, there's no definitive solution or definitive um, decision that I'm aware of at this moment in time. Are Atalanta any good? Yes, of course. Any team that gets to the quarterfinal of the Europa League have earned the right to be there. And Atlanta are um, seasoned European campaigners. So are they any good? Yes. But like I've said, I think we're the best team in this competition. And uh, I think we're going to prove that and go and win it all. So yeah, of course, they've got to be respected. They have some players in that team that, like the Catalaire, very good player. Coop Miners, very good player. Um, Skamaki, you might remember from his time at West Ham, didn't work out too well from there, but gone back to Italy and been more comfortable there. So yeah, they're a good team, but... You know, if you look at how strong we are tonight, especially with the bench, you would imagine we'd probably get the job done, or at least hope we get it done. Uh, Dean Rav, welcome to Anfield Agenda FC, my man. Appreciate you. We should give Jota Trent and Bocetti some minutes today. You'd hope that um, if the game's going well, yeah, in an ideal world, it'd be great to see even a couple of those boys come off the bench and get some minutes. Would I ever consider releasing merch? Weirdly, Stephen, we spoke about it a little bit today, actually, myself and Connor. Um, just going through some potential suppliers and stuff. So, yes, in the future, but uh, nothing imminently planned. They're not my close friends at all, just since I talked to it. I mean, it's weird behaviour there, right? You know, imagine going wanting to support a team that's potentially cheated their way to everything. And that being irrelevant to your thought process of it. So I would say whatever they do, mate, they're going to just support whoever wins in any sport by the sounds of it. Uh, Dean Rav, thank you, buddy, for upgrading your membership. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Welcome to Anfield Agenda Ultras. Do you think it's Salah's choice or Edward's choice for Salah's exit? I mean, probably some of both. So as an example... If Salah was offered a contract extension, I would imagine he'd probably want a pay rise. But has he earned that pay rise? I would say no. Has he earned a new deal opportunity and the same money? I would have no issue with that whatsoever. Um, You know, what I'm trying to think through here is Mo usually talks about wanting to be respected or wanted to be um, 
paid as the, the standout performer at the club. And up until the very last contract extension, I would say pay increases were absolutely earned and deserved. And he deserves to be the highest paid player at the football club. But since he signed the last deal to now, in no way do I feel he's gotten better since that last deal. I think he's gotten worse. Not too much. You know, I'm not saying he's fallen off a cliff. So it just doesn't seem like a deal that's there to be made. And that's without even thinking of Michael Edwards' punch on, for want of a better phrase, of not wanting to give out contracts to people who are in their um, mid-30s or early to mid-30s. My nine-year-old girl is in her Liverpool trackie and ready. Love that, Kirk. Love it. Well played, young lady. Uh, hopefully she enjoys the game and um, she's got some some happiness to look forward to. So yes, well in, young lady. Uh, can I go through the bench? Absolutely. No problem whatsoever. So the Liverpool bench is as follows today. Luis Diaz, Dominic Soboslai, Mohamed Salah, Adrian San Miguel, Diogo Jota, Andy Robertson, Ryan Gravenberg, Bobby Clark, Stefan Bajcetic, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Jarrell Kwanzaa and Connor Bradley. That feels like a long bench, but it also feels like a bench stacked with um, lots of options for Jurgen. What do I think about dodgy fire sticks? Uh, I don't use any illegal streaming products because I often find... Well, one, I view it this way. I'm in a position where I'm, I'm able to pay for these things, so if I'm going to be working like I do, I feel it's only fair that I contribute and pay. <coughs> Secondly... I'm very, very big on quality and I don't feel like these things are ever consistent enough for my liking. Um, so yeah, that's probably the, the most honest answer I can give you. I don't know what any of that means, Dean. Love your channel. Had to join the gaff. Think you're looking le monstef. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Uh, Atlanta are currently 6th in Serie A, 15 wins, 5 draws, 10 losses. Thank you for that insight, SG. Always good to have a little bit more info on the opponents. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's a pretty average season then for Atlanta in Serie A. But they are, as I've said, they're, no, they're not wet behind the ears. They're used to European competition and I'm um, sure we've played them before. Uh, it's a bench with quality. Absolutely, Stevie. It is, mate. It's a great bench. Uh, love your channel. My Bluetooth keyboard went into a stupid mode and posted, you're looking well, and I had to join. Uh, go to every away game. Oh, wow. Nice, Dean. Uh, the Travelling Reds, the Travelling Cup, mate, are absolutely amazing. You can always hear them at the away games. Um, yeah, brilliant. I'd say that must be great crack going on the away trips. Can I go over the bench for Atalanta? Absolutely. Apologies, I haven't done it up until now. Um, so it's Raphael Teloy. It's Holm, Torre, Adam Ole Luckman on the bench for Atalanta. Uh, Mitchell Backer, um, Adopo. Oh God, how do I pronounce this one? Uh, Carneshi, Rossi, Francesco Rossi. Then uh, Hate Bauer, Bonfanti, and Mirachuk. Or Mirinchuk, excuse me. That's the Atalanta bench. Ian, can you please stop spamming the same comment, mate? I'm not here to be customer service to you on upgrading a membership, bro. Google it. I don't have time in the middle of a watch along to be holding your hand about memberships, dude. It's uh, it's, it's not one-on-one -on -one time, you know. I have to go through all the comments, all the stuff, and you're spamming the same comment over and over again. Google it. <laughs> or, or just stay in the membership you have, my man. I appreciate you being with us, but I don't have time at the minute to uh, walk you through it. How is your wife getting on as a firefighter? She starts her, her training on Monday. She's got a, a training program she has to go through which starts on Monday. But thank you for asking, my man. Who's the danger man for Atalanta? I guess, for me, I'd probably look at uh, De Catilaire as somebody who would worry me. Um, Coop Miner is obviously very good as well. As I mentioned before, Skamaka had a spell at West Ham. Didn't work out too well from there, but... Um, 
Darun decent. They're a fairly solid team, but to me, Charles de Catalera is probably the one that would stand out as being the one I would be most concerned with. When will the Liverpool Crystal Palace predictions come out? Um, so today's Thursday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Yeah. They usually come out two days before the game. So tomorrow at 6. Uh, why do people say he got no pens? They are football. I, I, again, Andrew, I, I have no idea what that means. Why do people say he got no pens? They are football. I'm sorry, Andrew. I, I don't know where to go with that, bro. <laughs> Uh, Coop Miners is quality. Yeah, he's a player that we've been linked to as well. Um, you probably know that, sure. But yeah, he's a player that had been linked to Liverpool a little bit in recent years. A good, solid bro, Coop Miners, definitely. I'm going to pull this in a little bit closer to me. There we go. Uh, am I tracking anything about Atalanta's keeper this season? No. The only one I'd seen us linked with goalkeeper-wise was Patterson, the young Sunderland goalkeeper. Um, been a couple of stories written about him and Liverpool's interest in recent times. People are saying the Amram deal is not happening. Is that true? Um, I believe it's happening. That's all I can say to you, mate. Um, I believe it's happening. So, in the warm-up, Gakpo was left wing and Darwin was striker, by the way. Uh, in the warm-up before the game. Just to give you a heads up on that one. Canada in the house. Neil, how are you, mate? Welcome in. Listening and working. Let's go Reds. Appreciate you. Uh, much love from South Africa. George, how are you, my man? Always lovely to hear from our South African Reds. Um, always appreciate the support. And hopefully... We're eight minutes to go. We've uh, we've a good night to look forward to, and fingers crossed, a few goals as well. Uh, I meant when they look goals, they decide player look better if they got less pens. I find it weird. So I have to admit, Andrew, why would be somebody who would disregard pens when I'm talking about goal scorers? And uh, not entirely, but I do think often. For example, Cole Palmer. I think his stats are swayed by seven penalties. So. Not to say Cole Palmer isn't a very good player, but I understand how people may take penalties out of a situation because any professional footballer worth their salt should be scoring penalties. The conversion rate's up over about 80, 83%, something like that. So I, I can understand your point and their point. I just think it's one of those things that um, is unique to what, what way you want to look at a situation. Yeah, again, you've said the same thing to me already, Daniel, about Amram, and I've told you my opinion. You believe whatever you want to believe, whatever information makes you happiest. We'll all have uh, journalists that we have faith in. But let me just say this to you, and hopefully this is as clear as I can be. If Amram isn't going to be the next Liverpool manager, why has he told Sporting Lisbon he's leaving? Just answer me that question. And that's undeniable because he's told Sporting CEO or Sporting's director that he's leaving. So that much I don't even think is up for debate. So if he is leaving, where is he going? That's the best way I can put it to you. Uh, as a Chelsea fan, I love your match coverage. Much love from a Chelsea fan, the Faroe Wilds. Oh, I remember you, Peter. I remember you, my friend. Uh, lovely to have you in again. Thank you for the kind words. Wilshire's in the house with Random Joker. Thank you, my friend. Welcome in. Uh, Paul White reckons Gakpo's going to have a blinder tonight. I like that, Paul. I'm going to I'm gonna get behind that. Good wishes for Cody. Is any club looking at Inter Milan's manager? I think, if I'm not mistaken, Arnell, um, Inzaghi's about to sign the new contract. But I could be wrong. I'm sure I'd read something, though that suggested he was going to send a new contract. Amarum is going to Asda. No, Greg, he hasn't tapped his back pocket, so he, he's not going to Asda. You can only, you're only allowed to go to Asda if you do that back pocket tap thing on your jeans, you know, like they do in all the ads. So 
We haven't seen that yet, mate. That's basically his uh, Mel Wood lean. You know, if somebody's going to ask, do you get the on the back pocket? Until then, we can only take it as gossip. Uh, Craig, I think you're so confident about Amram, so am I. I think that you would eat broccoli if you didn't become an ex-manager. <coughs> Look, I get it. People all have their own mindsets and thought processes. If if you're worried about the situation, I just say to you, put it at the back of your mind and don't think about the managerial situation then until you get confirmed news on it. Um, no, no point torturing yourself with something that is making you, you know, anxious. Am I going to be watching the Fury fight? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. We'll be uh, watching that 100%. Right. Teams are in the tunnel. Let me really quickly again run through both starting 11s for you ahead of the game. And we will start off with our opponents first. It's Musso, Zappacosta, uh, Jim City, Hien and Ederson making up the back five. Then it's uh, Pasilic, Darun and Ruggeri. With Coop Miners tucked in behind the Catalair and Skamaka, that is the Atlanta starting 11. For Liverpool, it's Kelleher in goal. Then a back four of Joe Gomez, Costa Simicus, Virgil van Dijk, and Ibrahim Akanade. Midfield will be uh, Curtis Jones with Toro Endo and Alexis McAllister. And up top, Harvey Elliott, Darwin Nunes, and Cody Gakpo. Um, We'll figure out the exact formation when we see the boys out on the pitch, but that is Liverpool starting 11. On the bench today for Liverpool, really strong bench for Klopp today. Luis Diaz, Dominic Soboslai, Mohamed Salah, Adrian San Miguel, Diogo Jota, Andy Robertson, Ryan Gravenberg, Bobby Clark, Stefan Bajcecic, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Jarrell Kwanzaa and Connor Bradley. We're not going to have a stronger bench than that, I don't think, at any point. So, um, yeah, sit back, relax and uh, enjoy the game. Uh, no flags on the Copa, she'll never walk alone is sung. It, it really isn't the same, said David Lynch. Um, yeah, I, I don't like it. I don't like the protest, but as I said, I respect people's right to do it. Uh, Stargirl said, I wouldn't mind going to the away game uh, just to go to Lombardy. I believe it's a lovely place. Have I been to Italy? If not, would you like to? I was there for my best friend's wedding. Um, he got married kind of... Barry Brindisi type area and it was beautiful absolutely stunning food was amazing uh, yeah it was lovely really really lovely place Bradley should be starting low key again Clapper just needs to rotate and rest a little bit I think um, yeah I, I get it like we'll all look at the team selection and think maybe different players should have rested or started but Ultimately, this is the 11 and uh, it's our job now to get behind them. Now, got to give you a quick word from our sponsors today as well. Today we are being sponsored by me. Hi. Don't forget about our shows. That's the sponsorship pitch today. We are live from Belfast and Dublin. Tickets are on sale and Ticketmaster. If you'd like to come along and see us, scan the QR code on the screen to get your tickets or just go over to Ticketmaster and search. So that's the sponsorship pitch today being sponsored by us. Uh, right. What else have we got? Did Ruben Aaron reject Liverpool? Yeah, he did, yeah. It's all over. He did. There's no point in even watching football anymore, you know, because Ruben Aaron denied talking directly to Liverpool, and that definitely means we're screwed and the world is up and over with. So, yeah, no point in even watching. Do, 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 do. We've got 146 likes to go until we get to the thousand, my friends. Do take a second and hit that subscribe button. Do, 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 do. Love from Wrexham. Welcome in, my friend. Great to have you with us. I'm fancy in Cardiff on the 2nd of August. Yes, please do come along. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Belfast, uh, or sorry, Cardiff is the, it's the prettiest venue we're going to play in, I think. Kevin, thank you, or Kevon. Thank you, mate, for the support. Appreciate you. Should have picked a better club than City, though, mate, but appreciate your support. 
Is he joking? Yes, I'm joking. I'm sick of the same question tonight. I've been asked it 15 times at least in an hour. And I've answered it 15 times. Has he rejected us? No. Listen to what he said specifically. I, as in him personally, haven't spoken to Liverpool. Doesn't mean his agent hasn't. Doesn't mean they haven't got an agreement in place. Just, you know... If you want to believe all the negativity out there, that's on you. But I'm just not a negative person. And I've explained this situation so many times. Um, I believe he's going to be the next Liverpool manager. If you want to believe opposition fans that are trying to wind you up or negative journalists doing the club's bidding, absolutely work away. Right, my friends, we're about to get on the way. Liverpool attacking the Annie Road end in the first half. And we are off, underway. Good news is, Atlanta do the decent thing and launch the ball out long left-hand side. Gakbo to Endo. Back to Verge. I have to say, I much prefer the green captain's armband that Verge has on rather than the white and black ones from the Prem. Can't wait for Amram to arrive. Same, Kevin. I, I'm very excited about the prospect of it. Um, obviously, Jurgen Lieven's going to be tough, but we have to find a replacement manager. And um, yeah, looks looks like we found our man. Right, Atlanta now trying to counter. Liverpool give the ball away in midfield. It's played into the right channel, but Ibu steps across, gives the ball back to Queefin Kelleher, who again is closed down quickly, but manages to find Ibu. Uh, Katie said, great to see Jota back on the bench. Absolutely. It's amazing to see by Chechich, Trent and Jota all back on the bench tonight. Definitely gives Jürgen some more um, options. <coughs> Sorry, I forgot to sink. I'll sink at one and a half minutes, my friend. Sorry. Getting excited and carried away. Liverpool on the attack early doors. Ball in. Darwin tries to run through the defender in front of him. But uh, again, early opening there. Gakpo does well, tries to feed it into Darwin, and Darwin just runs out of space. And of course, they move the clock off the screen just as I was about to sink. I hate that on BT, when they have a replay that they hide the clock, or TNT, I should say, sorry. Right, I will sing in a second. Uh, Sandy, how are you? Welcome in. Lovely to have you in, my friend. Right, my friends, I will get... I keep saying friends. You're all friends, though, so it's probably the right terminology. We're getting close to two minutes, and I will sink then. Right, here we go. Are you ready? We are at two minutes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the good news is we haven't conceded yet. Two minutes into the game and we haven't even given up an easy chance. I mean, there's a chance we could be awake here, you know. And to everyone that's joining us, great to have you in. Thank you so much for choosing us for tonight's game. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do. And of course, drop a like on the stream. We failed in our mission to get a thousand likes, but we're close. Oh. Oh my God, we should be 1-0 down. Just as I jinxed us, we should be 1-0 down. Elliot gets dispossessed. I think that was a foul, but it wasn't given. Then Kelleher comes out. Oh, look at that. Big Irish head. Beautifully in the way. Making the save. Oh, my God. What a keeper. Look at the mark on his face as well. That is taking one for the team, ladies and gentlemen. That is heroics from Creevy. Look at the big red mark on his face. What a man. What a man. Amazing goalkeeping again from Creevy. It was a foul on Elliot, though, I agree. But, wow. Kelleher bailing us out there again. What a man. What a man. Atlanta on the attack now. Right hand side. Cross in. It's deep. Headed away by Jomez. Ball breaks toward. That's a handball for a start referee. He's playing an advantage. Reverse ball. Darwin left side of the penalty area. Good advantage from the referee. Darwin strike. Keeper saves. Ooh, second ball nearly broke. Well done. Good counter attack. Well done Cody Gakpo and Darwin Nunes. This was a really good counter attack. Gakpo played it perfectly into the left channel to Darwin gets his shot away and keeper uh, makes a rather comfortable save but still very very 
Good counter-attack there. And well-played referee on the advantage as well. Uh, I'm still considering for Cardiff, Craig, depending on how much the tickets are going to be uh, as money goes in. Uh, not good at money. Uh, I would say the tickets, as far as I'm aware, because we're going to be selling... Oh! Chance there for McAllister blasted over the bar. Uh, I think £20 for the Cardiff show is what I believe the tickets will be. Uh, but we'll be selling them directly ourselves, so there'll be no Ticketmaster add-ons or whatever. So yes, it'll be £20, and I think... I haven't got the price determined yet for the Liverpool show, but I think the Liverpool show is going to be the cheapest of them all. All these things depend on, obviously, the cost of the rental of the venues and stuff like that. Dublin one is very expensive. Cardiff one's quite expensive, but both worth it, in my opinion. And if money is an issue, honestly, and I mean this sincerely, just contact me with an email and I will sort it out for you, mate. I don't want money being a barrier between you being able to come and have an enjoyable night with us. If money is um, is an issue, and I mean this sincerely, just email me. I will sort you out. Don't worry about that. I don't want you missing out because of financial reasons. If you're part of our community and you live in the area, you know, if I can help you get to the show, I absolutely will. Uh, Brian, thank you for gifting 50 Anfield Agenda memberships, my man. Again, really kind of you, Brian. I hope that life's treating you well over in Boston. Um, match prediction. I went 3-1. 3-1, three spires energy, mate. I went 3-1. The Kelleher actually shaved that sort with his... Save, 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 save. Craig can speaky speak. He did save it with his head, mate, yes. What show are you doing? Uh, we're doing a show in Belfast uh, on May 31st, a show in Dublin on June 2nd, and then we're doing two shows in the UK, one in Cardiff on August the 2nd and one in Liverpool on August the 4th. Gakbo, out right-hand side to Elliot. Elliot goes out left-hand side to Costas. Go on, Costas. Mm, overhits it, unlucky. Ball goes behind, goal kick. How do I feel talking to a live audience? Honestly, petrified, Paul. Pet I won't lie to you, mate. Petrified. Um, yeah, it's like my worst nightmare. You know, I'm standing there to be judged, feeling all self-conscious. But it's some, it's a challenge, you know, and I want to get through it. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. The idea of getting to go and um, meet people, say hello, um, take pictures, have a conversation about the club. It's... it's it's very, um, it's a lovely experience to, to be able to go meet people like that. Uh, Leverkusen be the better team so far, but West Ham, they look scary. Well, do keep us up to date, Tristan, on that latest score, mate, if you can. Uh, Oliver, are you going to keep writing show of what? Or are you going to listen to what we've been saying, mate? Anfield Agenda Live show in... Same as Redmen, same as Anfield Rap, same as the United Stand, same as AFTV, same as all the other football content creators that do live shows, mate. We're going to come and give you the best night of your life. That's what she said. No, we're going to just go and have fun, mate. Talk about Liverpool, have a sing song and um, celebrate Jurgen. Right, free kick here to Liverpool. Uh, wide right position. Too far out for a shot. Um, Costas and McAllister standing over it. Atlanta holding a line about two yards inside their 18-yard box. McAllister gives the signal. Cross in. It's deep. Comes off the Atlanta defender's head and safely into the keeper's arms. Come to Scotland. We will at some point. Um, we will. Uh, seeing the Champions League this week and how effective they were, it's a miracle that we are where we are now. Um, not really, but I, I get your point. The Champions League ties were, particularly the um, Man City Real Madrid one, that was uh, there was high quality football on display. All right, but hopefully we're back in there next season. I'm coming to that show in Liverpool. Brilliant. Look forward to seeing you there, Oliver. Um, it's going to be at the Hot Water Comedy Club. 
Atlanta now on the attack. Ball played in behind. Verge. And the ball goes behind for a goal kick. Coop Miners tries to go around the outside of Verge. Verge just allowed him and, and eased him out over the side of the pitch. Right, Liverpool get on with it quickly. Um, McAllister, centre of the park. Van Dijk. Costas. Infield. To Gakbo, who's quite deep there. Come to Bristol, will 100% come. Was in Bristol um, last year, actually. Not for a show, but was in Bristol. First time I've ever been there. What do I think about Arsenal fans singing our songs? Uh, look, all football songs are robbed from somebody. Do you know what I mean? We robbed C. Senor and all, so... I would take it as a compliment. Uh, Craig, if you want to come up with a contest idea, I'll donate 25 tickets to any of your show's readers. Um, no, um, I don't know how that would work, in all honesty, Brian. Just give me the money <laughs> and I'll donate it to me. Um, I don't know how that would work, to be honest with you. I'd hate to see your money wasted and give tickets to somebody who wouldn't come, if you get me. But that's incredibly kind of you, mate. Uh, and we probably we'll try and think up something maybe we can do something with our friends at Oosh or something like that but um, maybe we can give them through local supporters clubs or something but it is again incredibly kind of you Brian thank you so much Costas closed down and foul free kick to Liverpool Uh, hope you and the family are well. Uh, glad Klopp hasn't rushed shot at Allison and Trent back. Our new manager has a massive task ahead. I feel like Klopp is irreplaceable. Can totally get that, mate. He is irreplaceable. You're right. You know, I'm not saying another manager won't, you know, end up being successful, but it, it is definitely going to take a lot of getting used to to have no Jurgen um, on the touchline for Liverpool. Who's on the bench? No problem. Give me two seconds, mate. I'll run through that for you. Uh, for Liverpool, Diaz, Soboslai, Salah, Adrian, Jota, Robbo, Gravenberg, Clark, Bajcetic, Trent, Kwanzaa and Bradley. That is our bench. Atlanta on the attack again, wide right, ball in behind. Chance blocked. Oh my God. That was a very, very good chance. I don't know why they back healed it. There was a little cry flick back. And if they hadn't have, they would have had a, a very good shooting opportunity. But again, they've shown that they can carve us open and... We need to take heed of these. Darwin, of course, offside there. Let's have a look at this chance again. So Atlanta come down the right-hand side. Lovely ball in between the lines. I think the Catalair back heels are for Skamaka and his shot is blocked. Yeah, it was. The Catalair with a little kind of back heel Croy flick to Skamaka, who made a mess of his shot, thankfully. But again, too easy. Jesus, Verge, urgency, urgency. That's just lazy from Virgil, lazy. He had two or three yards on your man and he slows to a bleeding walking pace. And now Atlanta are on the attack. That's just lazy from Verge. Wake up. There's no excuse for that from Verge. No excuse. Laziness. Has anybody else wound up by that? He had two or three yard head start in your man. Slowed to a walking pace. And now we have the free kick to defend wide right. All absolutely avoidable. Villa 1-0 up by the way in that tie thank you for the update Atlanta go deep too deep thankfully with the free kick and it goes behind for a goal kick I, honestly I don't get that from Verge he does it too often for my like and just slows it down to a half jog Bit of urgency. Just do your defending. Kelleher to McAllister. Canade. 
Uh, Paul, how are you, mate? Uh, anyone who can afford to go to your shows, we're happy to pay for the ticket. Absolutely. And that's so kind of you, Paul, mate. And I'd be the same. You know, I never want finances to be a barrier for anybody. If anybody wants to come to a show and they've, they've got genuine um, financial difficulty, of course, mate. And that's very kind of you, Paul. Thank you, mate. That's why I love our community. Between ourselves, Brian, yourself, we'd always be able to make sure that if somebody wants to come along, we can make it happen for them. But thank you so much, mate. You're really kind. Craig, I think VVD believes in himself too much. It just there's no excuse for that one, to be fair, other than laziness. You know, it's um, it's making the situation unnecessarily difficult. Ball in, Darwin. Wide, great ball in behind. Darwin gets played in. I think it was Jones, was it? Yeah, Curtis Jones threads a lovely ball through to Darwin. And he puts it wide. It's just, again, just not good enough. I'm sorry. That's just pants. To not even hit the target. It's getting it's getting beyond the beyond now with some of our forwards and their their attempts at shooting. Like that went about three yards wide. Benfica 1 0 up in their game against Marseille. McAllister not happy that a foul was given against him on the far side. I mean, it wasn't a foul for a start, but looking at this chance again here from Darwin, what, what is he even doing like? What is he even doing with that chance? If he wants to try and dink it over the keeper, he's got to use the outside of his foot and not his instep. But he decides to try to use his instep and puts it about three yards wide. It's not, e it's not even a difficult chance. All he has to do is use the outside of his foot and get some height on it. Well done, Kelleher. Just... Gakpo now. Oh, God. Again. Look to the right! Lads, our, our decision-making in the final third is shocking. Gakpo. Costas. Darwin. There was two players screaming for the ball on the right-hand side. Elliot being one of them in acres of space. And, of course, we played on the narrow side again. Oh, my God. Cody. Free kick fell on Darrow or McAllister. Gets on with it quickly. Cost us. <coughs> Endo now. Roma 1 0 up against AC Milan. So there have been plenty of early goals in the Europa League tonight, just none so far at Anfield. Am I happy with today's lineup? Um, I mean, I probably would have set us up a little bit differently, but I understand the, the need for changes. Just uh, has only intensified our frustration that we've seen a couple of wasted opportunities early doors again. Uh, trying to give Nunes every chance to redeem himself, but it's getting ridiculous. Look, they are getting ridiculous, mate, some of these missed chances. That one that he put wide there a moment ago, that was... It's criminal not to even hit the target. Atlanta trying to play around our press. They work into the left channel, but they've overhit it. No, referee says it's stayed in play, but we're back in possession. <sighs> throw in. Gomez caught in possession, but we get a throw in on the far side. Is Dan's on the bench? No, he isn't. Uh, bench is Bradley, Kwanzaa, Trent, Bicecic, Clark, Gravenberg, Robbo, 
Jota, Adrian, Salah, Soboslai and Diaz. Again, short passes. This time, Jones. Left short. Atlanta have a throw in on the near side. I agree with everybody who said it's getting harder and harder to um, keep stomaching these missed opportunities. Well done, Endo. Come on. That's it. Move it into space. Now, into the left wing. Free kick. Gomez brought down. Liverpool free kick about 10 yards inside their own half. Jones, Elliot, back to Endo. Do you think Gravenberg was a wasted signing? I oh, know. I think there's timely. Um, you know, he's still a young man, first year in the Prem, coming from a club where he wasn't playing much football as well. So I've got plenty of uh, patience left for Ryan Gravenberg. To be fair. Do you think our bench is correct? Would you replace anybody? Mm, no, I think it's pretty good. The bench is strong anyway. Actually, I don't like the fact that Costas is playing today, if I'm being really honest. Um, I understand maybe Klopp wants to give a break to Robbo, but I, I just... I'm never really comfortable with Costas starting games. I think he's okay if you're, you're trying to chase a game and you need some extra uh, attacking threat down the left side. But when you need to defend as well, he always makes me nervous because he's one of those defenders that wants to um, get in ahead of the ball rather than wait. So he wants to receive the ball ahead of the attacker so we can go on the counter. But if he dives in, doesn't get there, he often leaves space in behind. What's your thoughts on Stunpeg and would you consider her for top of the league when you relaunch next season? I don't know who the hell that is. I, I don't watch much YouTube content, mate, so I don't mean that as a, a knock or a slight against the person. Uh, everybody would be up for consideration for top of the league next year. So um, in that regard, certainly would have no um, qualms about looking at a load of different people. But I, I don't know who that person is. Again, no insult meant by it. I'm just not a big watcher of a lot of YouTube stuff. I uh, love watching you, Craig. Thoughts on the United game. Still angry over it, Alan, mate. Um, to have played them three times this year and not beaten them once feels criminal. <laughs> Do you think it's a scrape the fans have been writing about, Gerald? A hundred percent. I, I don't get it. You know, he made a mistake, of course. That's not even up for debate, but it's football. Mistakes will be made. And I think Kwanzaa has more than shown that is he's got the ability to play at this level. Uh, I wouldn't hold a mistake against the kid. It was frustrating in the moment, of course, same as any other mistake. But if people are going in on them, then they're idiots. Uh, and certainly not the type of fans we would want to associate with Liverpool Football Club, especially as such a young player. In his first real breakthrough season. Just cr seems crazy to me. But a lot of people are fickle. On fair weather. Uh, Nunes never plays well for us as a number 9. Most of his good performances came from. as Out in the left wing. I've said that for a while. That I prefer him on the left side myself. Um my front three would probably be Jota through the middle, Salah right and Darwin left if people were fit. Um, and if Salah doesn't pull up his socks and start performing, I'd put Diaz on the right. Could I please get a shout out for my son Miller? Of course, Miller, how are you my friend? Thank you for watching. I hope, well I would say I hope you're enjoying the game young man, but not much to be excited about just yet. But um, yeah, I hope you're well. And thank you for uh, watching us and thank you for well, thank you for picking the Reds, Miller, to support most importantly.
Thoughts on barbecue chips or salt and vinegar? Uh, I'm a cheese and onion merchant, mate, so... Of those two, I'd eat both of them, to be fair, but... Yeah, cheese and onion are the way forward. Jones. 24 minutes, 20 seconds on the clock. Still await the opening goal. Ball into the left channel to Darwin. Free kick to Liverpool right on the edge of the 18-yard box. Not really in a shooting position, but certainly one that you could put it right across the front of the six-yard box here. No, no, for those same pen, that was outside, definitely outside. It was at least a yard outside the box. Who's playing on the left today? Uh, it looks like it's Darwin, but, but Gakpo's dropping deep a lot of the time. So it looks like it's Darwin and Costas down the left, but um, Gakpo seems to be dropping very deep. To try, I guess it's to try and create space in behind for Darwin. Cross in, cleared out, drops to Elliot. Strike. Oh, it's hit the bar and the post. Oh, oh he couldn't have done much more with that. Harvey Elliot hits the crossbar and the post. Curling left footed strike. Off the crossbar, then off the post, then back out. Not going to get much closer than that. Unlucky Elliot. It was a great attempt from Harvey Elliott, but oh, bar and post. <sighs> he, he's not going to get much closer than that one. What a strike. Unlucky. Costas now in possession. Goes back to Verge. That was definitely the closest in the game so far. Do I mind sinking? Sure, just let me get to 27 minutes, mate, and I'll sink up for you then. Am I ill? No, why would you ask am I ill? God, am I ill? Do you know what? Just fuck off, actually. I'm not even dealing with it anymore. I'm just sick of I'm sick of all these comments that are meant to be a stray question but are actually an insult. So just go elsewhere. Uh, we're about at 27 minutes now. One second. 27 and 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Can I bring some sunshine to Belfast? Uh, I'll try, Michael. I'll try, mate. I do think sometimes that the sun does shine out of my rear end, so maybe. Again, another foul. Free kick to Liverpool. 27, nearly 28 minutes on the clock. Still awaiting the opening goal. Verge to Ebu. Oh, good ball into the right channel to Darwin. He's popping up everywhere in the front line, Darwin. Cross in. All the way through on the far side to Jones. He tries a curler again. Just a little bit too much on it and it goes high and wide. Our shooting, boys. Our shooting. I think they're trying to be too precise sometimes. Maybe just give yourself a little bit of a margin for error there, but... Getting closer. Canade. McAllister to Costas. Costas now into the right channel. 
Elliot gives chase, but there's too much on that, and the ball goes behind for a throw in. And the f well done, the young man. Well done, the young people there looking out for Elliot, making sure he wasn't falling over the barrier. Fair play. Well done, young young lads. Where's McAllister? See the lad on the pitch wearing number 10? That That's McAllister. Craig, you talk about negativity. Oh, do you know what? Bye. There you go. Negative that. What does WFM mean? It means we're fucking massive. See, I did what you said there. I didn't even read out his whole comment. When I went halfway through it and I seen it was negative, I just deleted it. See, I'm learning. A mediocre team and at your own field. I mean, spot the non-football fan. Nobody calls it a field. The fuck are we growing potatoes here? Oh, it's your own field. Oh, such a poor team with your own field. Would you get out of it, field? I'm not growing the spuds here, mate. It's a pitch, not a field. If you're going to try and troll us, mate, at least get the terminology right. Oh, lads, we're playing terrible at the home field. We have the home field advantage. The absolute state of that. Home field. Oh, look at us. Go team. Go team awesome. Gakpo. Oh, good ball. Good ball. Oh, unlucky, actually. Unlucky. Little yard or two ahead of Mr. Harvey Elliott. Unlucky. Do you think we'll win the treble? Eh, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well done, Endo. Come on, second ball. As a duchy, I would say field two. Nope. It's pitch, mate. It's not called the football field. It's called the football pitch. And anyway, the re the real reason, by the way, I went in on the dude wasn't because it was about the the field comment. He was just taking cheap shots at Liverpool. That's really why I went in on my friend. It got nothing to do with the terminology. I just needed that as an excuse. Well done, Jones. Gets on with it quickly. Right, Cody. In. Oh, Cody! Just took a touch too much, man. It was on. Right hand side to Elliot. Ball in. Elliot's gotten into some good positions, by the way. Um, but hasn't been picked out on a couple of occasions. Um. <coughs> Well done, boys. Now clear. All right, Liverpool throw in. You're straight behind. What's wrong with you? I've, um, I'm, I'm on dial up still, Brian. Do you remember those days? Pick up the phone and somebody's on the internet or something. Maybe some people aren't old enough to remember those days, but God, they were, they were uh, screeches in the old ears. How much do you think you spend on subscriptions to watch football each month? Um, honestly, without trying to exaggerate it, if you take out my broadband, um, probably about 130, 140 quid if I take the broadband part out of it. Uh, 
It always gets me when idiots like Joel there come in and go, Liverpool, worst team ever. Joel, firstly, my friend, you're an idiot. And secondly, how is the most successful team in the history of English football the worst team ever? It is quite literally the polar opposite. But don't let facts get in the way of your stupidity, mate. I've no doubt you're going to do very well in life with that level of genius. So, again, just to reiterate, your comment, Liverpool, worst team ever, factually, most successful team in the history of English football. You're welcome. Welcome to today's TED Talk. Canade. Sorry, I should have done what all the, the trolls do. Lol. Yeah, how good was it, by the way, to see Diogo warming up there on the sidelines? Definitely uh, positive. Ten minutes to go in the first half and... Um, Remember dial-up AOL? Oh, God, yes. I remember those. I remember the days where my dad used to tell me you can have half an hour on the phone and that's it. Uh, Jack, how are you, buddy? Even I may hope you're well. Think we desperately need a healthy striker. Move Nunes to left wing. His goals and assists come from left wing this season. Big window. <coughs> uh, I don't disagree, Jack. I think most of us here in the chat would probably feel he does some of his best work. From the left hand side and hopefully with Jota coming back um, we can start getting that fox in the box style striker who puts the ball away because yeah too many opportunities missed in recent games will there be food and drink at the shows uh, drink I would say absolutely food I'm not aware I don't this is not a smart answer I'm genuinely I'm not aware of the uh availability of food at the shows i'm not sure on the answer i can check it out for you but drinks absolutely it's ireland come on now what dial, what's dial up aol aol was america online it was an old internet provider i'm not sure are they still going aol or were they bought out or something but it meant american online or america online or something like that do you guys have party lines were they the, the ones that you dial up for, like, the women to talk dirty to you? <laughs> or uh, out, a, any of those premium rate numbers, Liz? Yes, we, we have them over here. Uh, Google Western said, we're playing absolutely shite. Uh, we're not playing great. You are right there. But we still have probably created enough chances that we could have uh, scored once or twice. Uh, can my brother have a shout out? Of course. I, I mean, I don't know your brother's name, Billy, but um, young McIntyre, Mr. McIntyre, I hope you're well. And I'm sorry to hear that you're battling cancer, young man. And uh, all of us are right behind and hope for a positive outcome, sir. Um, yeah, much love. Much love from all of us, my friend. Oh, it's 1 0. 1 0. 1-0 to Atlanta. I didn't even see the goal yet, by the way. I was responding to the gentleman in the comments, so I hadn't even seen the goal yet. I turned around to see the ball in the net. Oh, for the love of God. Right, so Atlanta have the ball in their half. They work it down the right-hand side. Again, look at the space vacated there from Mr. Costas. Ball pulled back. That's a weak finish. I'm sorry, Kelleher should have done better. Nah, lads, Kelleher should have done better. I'm sorry, Kelleher, you've got to be doing better there, young man. For all the great saves he has made, that's awful goalkeeping. But look, it's awful defending as well, but... Right throughout the team. Shocking. 1 0 Atlanta. For the love of God. Skamaka with the goal, and again, just our own worst enemies. I'm going to come over on the ferry and pricing it all up, getting the room, found one cheap. Would there be anywhere way to get help with tickets? Yeah, just e email me, mate, um, and we can uh, sort it out for you. 
So yeah, Dean, just give us an email, make contact at anfieldagenda.com and I will sort it out. Uh, and thank you for the super chat, mate. Sorry, I'm just still trying to process that goal. It was it look, you've seen me praise and defend Kelleher for lots of stuff, but I, I that was weak. There, there's no denying it, it was weak. But it was weak right throughout the team. The last part was just particularly weak from Kelleher. Yes, absolutely. We shouldn't be conceding that. Oh, God Almighty. Can we agree Kelleher should have done better? Absolutely. 100%. No argument from me. Um, but we should have defended it better as well. But yes, there's no defending that that should have been saved. Again, wasteful. I hope all the lads in the cop, by the way, that are crying about the 2% markup, I hope they're all delighted at the atmosphere that they're not creating at today's game because of the ATP. I'll give them the ATP if that's the difference, like, but. Could have really done with everybody being on the same page with no negativity behind the club. But of course, some people have to be heard over ATP, a game or whatever it is. And um, yeah, it's not like we had a European quarter final where Klopp asked for everybody to get behind the team. Would love Amazon to buy the Premier League because I think nearly everyone uses Prime. Might come to Liverpool at the event and torment you all, said Stargirl. Um... I would love a Premier League streaming service, Stargirl, like you see with WWE or something, and um, with all the old games and stuff on it and extra content and stuff like that. Uh, there you go. Paul said for his ticket. There you go, my friend. Paul's already thrown in a super chat to cover your ticket. You're very, very, very kind, Paul. Thank you. And I will make sure that Dean gets that ticket, sir. So, we have... Just over a half to figure this out, turn it round and um, perform better. Getting beaten by a sixth place Italian team. Is the game over? My little trolling princess or, you know, have we been knocked out? Is, is the tie finished or are we just behind because of a goalkeeping error? I mean, I don't know. You can just fuck off. In all honesty, mate, I, I couldn't be bothered dealing with you, super chat or not. Come back to me when the tie's over and ask me who's gone through. I love the way everybody just waits and prays for a Liverpool downfall so they can come in and act genius and superior. Come back to us when the tie's over. There's loads of time left. But I love that we're so massive that you think of us immediately. Thank you. Uh, Endo, come on now. Can't be giving away wasted balls like that. Corner to Atlanta again, and that came from a hospital pass from Endo in midfield. Just slackness again. Craig, would you sell Costas? Well, this isn't a response to this game, Katie, but yes, I would. I, I've been saying that for a while, to be fair. Two minutes plus stoppage time to go. I wonder how the locals are going to blame the rest of us on this atmosphere. Because, you know, it's it's not them. It's never anybody but us, tra us foreign fans for the poor atmospheres. I mean, I'm looking at the cop there now and I'm not seeing much singing or getting behind their team. But, of course, it's, it's our fault. I apologise on behalf of all the foreign fans. Because it's always our fault. Uh, Atlanta's man marking is killing us. They're much bigger and outmuscling us in midfield. Needs Sobosloy on a half time, I reckon, said Soundscape Music. Uh, Craig, you say we're not fans, we're mates. What's the chances of being best man at my wedding? Defo! Defo! Bobby! S invite me over, man. I'll be your best man at my wedding. No problem, bro. That's. That's sound. Absolutely. Best man. Deal done. 
Uh, they look strong, need a solid team, and it's crazy how many times been 1 0 to the 80th minute and then ends 3 1. Locals are right, and I'm not a local. No, they're not. They just love to blame everybody else. Who owns this? How many people inside that ground are season ticket holders, mate? I would imagine 30,000, maybe? So how is it not the majority's fault when the atmosphere is poor? And who sells all the tickets for marked up prices, by the way? Could we have that conversation as well? So it isn't the non-locals' fault, mate. It's everybody's fault. All of them. And the atmosphere there, from what I'm hearing and seeing from you guys, looks awful, which is not befitting of a quarterfinal of a European competition. You know? One minute added on, <coughs> excuse me, at the end of the first half. Oh, lads, something's going to have to be changed here at half time. Uh, great fella, great content, United fan, good luck. Thank you, Daniel. Really appreciate you, mate. Oh, no, they're in again. Well done, Kelleher, this time. Well done, Queveen. But again, how are they in so easily? Well done from Queveen. Certainly helped out there massively, but you got to ask the question again. How is it so easy for them to get in behind us? Well done, Queveen. Certainly starting to make up for his mistake there. Great save, but again, defensively, it's just a shambles. Look at this. Look at the space. Where? Look at Costas. Look at that absolute clown. Look at him. He's a clown, honestly. He was on the halfway line there, Costas. Absolute clown. Get him off, honestly. He is an absolute liability. Half time it is 1 0 to Atalanta. Oh my. Did you see how far out Costas was there? Dude was on the halfway line when Atalanta were attacking us in behind his space. My god. Uh, I'm looking to potentially come to the Cardiff show. It's on my 30th birthday, so it'll be a nice birthday trip. That's amazing. Please do remind me to say happy birthday to you if you come, my friend. We'll all give you a, a toast on the night, but thank you. It'd be a pleasure if you to spend your 30th birthday with us, mate. Thank you. Uh, why is it that when it goes wrong or starts, to, uh, or starts to take unnecessary digs, it's a bad habit of chill? How many times have we turned it around? So let me flip that to you another way, Sebastian. When we play poorly and concede... What would you expect us to be like? Nobody's saying we won't turn it around, mate, but it's also disingenuous to say anything other than we need to be better. I mean, I'm, I'm being calm and reasoned in what I'm trying to reply here. You can't expect everyone to be happy clappers all the time, mate. It's just, it isn't real. You work off emotion, good, bad or indifferent, and should we be happy about that? I would argue no. Um, again, I agree with you that we can turn it round. Absolutely. But it, defensively, it's a shambles. Uh, Caden said, tomorrow it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Caden. Much love, my friend. So, at half time, what are we thinking? If you're Jurgen Klopp, my friends, what would you be doing right now? Um, certainly you're looking at the bench there and there are plenty of options some of them of course coming back from a long time out so you have to be mindful of that um, I mean immediately it'd be Andy Robertson coming on for Costas that would be the first thing I'd do um, Salah on to the right wing drop Trent back into midfield who would I move from midfield probably Jones Yeah, I think look, I think Klopp needs to do something bold here at half time. because uh, we don't have wiggle room now. The last thing we, we can do is go and concede another one. So I think he's got to be bold and look to try and pen them in. Curtis Jones and Schimmickus need to come off. Move Elliott to midfield and bring on Salah or Jota. Liverpool have been sluggish all game, said Ronald. Uh, I don't disagree with, with what you've said there, Ronald. Um 
The only thing I'd be concerned about is I'm not sure how long Jota would be ready to come on for. You know, um, with him being out as long as he has, does he need 15 maybe before he can play? Um, but again, your sentiment I agree with. Uh, if Jota is fit and get Nunes off and don't start him again, uh, honestly, if we win this, it still feels like a kick in the balls because defence is playing like this won't win us anything. I agree. Defensively, we are so... I, I want to say naive, but... It's just so open. Like, carved open there. And as I said, I warned about Costas getting ahead of the ball and not being there if we turn over possession. And lo and behold, again, he's gone missing. Uh, I think Costas thinking he has Trent's hybrid role, said Gary. Trent on 55 and Jota on 65, said Daniel. Uh, Klopp better change players at half time and not wait till 60 minutes, said Dreams. We're so flat, said Jake Bell. Uh, I'm getting worried, said Tyler Cruz. Uh, Amir Lawadi said, bring in Salah, Sobosly, Lucho and Robbo. Sebastian Tutil said, uh, sorry, Craig, what I was getting at is the comments on uh, non-locals seem to be an attack on our own fans. Not good, of course. Uh, it, look, there's uh, Sebastian, we're all, everybody's to blame for the atmosphere. Locals, non-locals, season ticket holders, non-season ticket holders, everybody has a part to play. And Anfield at its best, I think we can all agree, is a formidable place. And that, I guess, is the disappointment for tonight, mate, that... <clears throat> on a quarter final of a European tie at home when the players are probably mentally and physically fatigued from all their exertions you want every advantage you can get and the atmosphere and the crowd is part of that advantage so seeing it um, not looking like it should normally does certainly isn't great but I appreciate you clearing that up and I certainly do hope that I didn't come across to your good self as a, an asshole I, I, I didn't intend to anyway so thank you uh, Simon Flood said lads we've been poor for the last four weeks just get through games and we make it so difficult for ourselves Arsenal and City kill games off we don't I can't really disagree with you Simon you know we've certainly made harder work of games over the past four weeks five weeks than we, we should have or at least from the international break uh, or I would even say the other side of it we played tonight in the FA Cup that game should have been dead and buried as well uh, Victor, thank you for your super chat, said Craig. Hello, hope all is well. We need to wake up. Yes, we do, but I've got to be honest, right? I'm, I'm going to be honest. I know we all want changes, but I'm worried that a lot of the players who aren't on the pitch are players who have underperformed recently, and I'm thinking of Salah here. Um... Darwin's continued to underperform and does not deserve to be played at the moment. He just doesn't. Darwin, should, I mean, I'm not hating on him. I'm being honest. So Darwin should be off. The sooner Jota can play regularly, the better. I'd get Salah straight back on the pitch. And yeah, look, I just, I want to be confident with the bench. But, you know, it just feels like we've been, um, as Simon said, maybe getting away with it for a while now. Hilarious that Elliot lost the ball three times and made three bad passes, but apparently he's the better option. No, what's hilarious is that you trying to have a sly dig by putting a compliment in and then digging us again. So it's not amazing, mate. Nobody's played great there, but you just want to have a little bitch at Elliot and have a bitch at us for it. So for that, off you pop. You know, if you want to have a solution, just say you don't like Elliot, mate. Get it over with, you know. I don't have time to waste looking at your uh, disingenuous comments. Gakpo, really good, to be honest. Very proud of him, at least, said Casper's photography. Uh, did you see what Ruben Amram said about Liverpool not having contacted him at all yet? Not what he said at all, mate. So, firstly, can you stop lying? Secondly, he said he hasn't spoken directly to Liverpool. He didn't say his agent hasn't spoken directly to Liverpool. Do you see where I'm going with this? Your favourite Elliot is a weak starter. He's not my favourite at all. My favourite star with Nunes, who's also a weak starter. 
Uh, again, watch back all the streams. Craig, who's your favourite players? Alison Becker, Darwin Nunes. I like Elliot, and I think he deserved to start. You're saying he's a weak starter, but he hasn't started many games. Certainly hasn't started many games from midfield. And again, he's been played in a wide right position. And I would argue that he's been available in loads of space on two or three occasions where the ball hasn't been played out to him. I get it. Loads of people don't like Elliot and have every opportunity to try and take digs at him. Fair enough. But I'm trying to give you my own take on it. Gakpo should have released him on the right twice and the ball never got out to him. He also hit the crossbar on the post. He's done more than most people out on that pitch. So, weird. You're just if, if you know how many times he's misplaced the pass, by the way, you are just waiting to hate on him. So you've given yourself away with that. In my opinion, if something doesn't change with this defence, then we don't win anything. Usually I'm positive about these things, but it's getting me down. Come on, Liverpool. Well, you're very right to be concerned about a, a weak, porous defence, mate, because you can't rely on just outscoring teams all the time. So, you know, using Arsenal and City as an advan as a... An example, like people have said, they are able to kill off games, score one or two, see it out. We've been very porous and have given up a lot of opportunities. So I think your concern's understandable. Uh, Diogo in the middle, Salah on the right, Darwin on the left wing, Costas out, lineup is weak, much loves from Sierra Leone, West Africa. I think you could be the first person I know that's watched from Sierra Leone, mate, and thank you for your comment. Um, Salah on the right, yes, Darwin left, Costas out. I th- I think I can agree with most of what you said there. Um, definitely need some changes. But, you know, my biggest concern is how open we are defensively. Because we're always going to create. You know, we are a team that creates chances. But we're giving up so much defensively. Uh, love Kelleher, but we miss Ali. It's intangible. I mean, I would argue we haven't really missed Alisson. But I can't argue that Kelleher should have, shouldn't have should have done better with the goal. He should have. It was weak. Weak goalkeeping for the goal. He did make a good save later in the game. But I guess maybe what you mean is just that confidence of having Alisson, the presence of having him in behind, which, again, is understandable. To me, he's the best keeper in the world. But, I mean, I, I don't think Kelleher's the reason we're losing this game, other than the weak save he should have made. You know, I'm not going to push back on that. He should have saved that. But... Defensively, we're just giving up too many chances. Just too many. Ver- like The whole team performance to me can be summed up in that Verge incident where he should have had he two or three yards starting position to get to a ball, slowed it down to a walk, and then ended up giving the ball away. It's just all too lackadaisical and too loose. Jens, thank you for gifting five memberships, mate. You are the master of trolling me when we're losing, mate. And I appreciate the, uh, the shithousery. Uh, the hay for Elliot is mental. He's a young man. He'll be worse off. Those who cannot see it is crazy. People just love to hate. And I don't know why. Again, Elliot did... Elliot came so close to scoring a goal. He hit the post and the crossbar. And yes, he's given away the ball a few times, I'm sure. But so is everybody else out on the pitch. It's just... People want scapegoats all the time. The scapegoat here is the entire team. It was a shit first half performance. Nowhere near good enough. And everybody is at fault for that. Verge's leadership. Kelleher's weakness in that shot. Klopp for the team selection. Everybody has a responsibility to be better. Uh, Juan said, Fabrizio Romano said that Amram hasn't been contacted by Liverpool or any other club. Uh, I'd rather trust Fabrizio than you. Yeah, that's right. Um. Again, just to have a go with you, mate. One of us makes a living from lying to people and selling his opinions by email, not me. And secondly, Fabrizio absolutely didn't say that, you dumb little fuck. He didn't say that. Again, you're making it up. I don't care what you think, Juan. I don't give a shit. You're irrelevant to me because I don't know who you are. Go lick Fabrizio's arse and see if he'll respond to you. Because I guarantee you, mate, he won't. And he also never said that. I have all Fabrizio's quotes here, by the way. I can read them back to you. And in not one of them did he say that there has been zero contract or contact. Zero. So, again, you're wrong. Stop being an idiot and leave me alone.
Dun, dun. Sorry, I'm just going back through some quotes. So, let me just read out one quote directly from Fabrizio Romano, you dumb little clown. New, it is true that contacts are concrete between Liverpool and Ruben Amorum. Talks have taken place and will keep taking place, but we have to be patient and wait for the moment Liverpool make their final choice, you dumb little troll. So, in what part of that did Fabrizio not say that contact has been made, you dumb little fuck? Now stop wasting my time with your ignorance and piss off and lick from Arno's hole. Meanwhile, I'll just give you the factual information, which is that he said the contact has been made. Do you want me to read it again? So you can get it between that lug hole between your ears there, mate. Absolutely clear that contact has been made by your demigod, Romano. Robbo, Salat and Sobosly coming on, said Pranav. I love Elliot and think he's played well, said Tyler. So again, come at me, but I am prepared. I know my shit. I do my research. I have my notes. I'm well aware of what's been said and what hasn't been said. It's not my fault that you're an idiot. Don't come taking it out on me because you're crying. Because, <laughs> what if he doesn't come, Quake? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but, but what if he doesn't come? And what if we've got no manager? Fabrizio said. No, he didn't though, did he? Did he? No, he didn't though. I told you what he said. You're welcome. <laughs> Second half about to get underway. Liverpool playing from left to right. Unless Fabrizio says otherwise. Right, here we go. Second half underway. Uh, Elliot on the wing is like playing Genie in the nine. He's a central midfielder, said Ahmed. Right, we are underway second half. Looking around. Sobos lies on anyway. I'll get confirmation of those changes for you. One sec. Salah and Sobosly on. Good. Here we go. Right hand side. Sobosly. Cross dinked in. Oh, unlucky. Close to the keeper. Good. Brighter start. And hopefully we can turn this one around. Uh, for me, Craig, Gakpo's been the best player. I think he's had a decent game, but he's been dropping quite deep. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, which I guess the idea behind that was to create space for Darwin to run in behind, but did I have a drink before doing this live? I don't drink, mate, so try again. It's not my job to hold people's hand, and when people come in spouting lies as fact, and I'm able to show them that they're talking out their backside, what do you want me to do? It's very, very difficult dealing with stupidity on a regular basis from people that have no vested interest to be in here to be positive they come in to try and be negative what do you want me to do so what if i accused you of drinking you'd scream racism at me right i haven't drank anything mate i don't drink i'm well known for not drinking so try again It's very, very, very trying when you constantly have people negging in the chat. Uh, Klopp removed Elliot instead of Darwin. Do you think who's right thing to do? I guess he just feels Darwin's probably more of a, a goal threat. Offside flag up there again. Just as we're talking about more offside. Have I ever tried carrot juice? God, no. Mm -mm. And in fairness, do we look like a lad that's tried carrot juice? Uh, 
I uh, can't remember the last time Klopp did a triple change at half time. He clearly knows um, that there is a need for a change. You know, that first half. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. First half was unacceptable for a whole load of reasons. But I think what's really concerning to many of us is how late we've left it to turn things around. You know, trying to figure out what the slow starts have been this season is a difficult one. Um, because I think we'll all agree we've we've had to go to the well to try and win games late far too often and it's you can't do it all the time we're giving ourselves a lot to do and um, we should be starting quicker cross in from Dom slightly over hit goes through on the far side to Robbo Robbo again over hit Dom manages to keep it in on the far side. Cross in. Headed away. Gomez now. Squares it, but it's a little bit behind Maka. He goes back to Kelleher, and Kelleher goes out left side. Ah, unlucky. Unlucky. You can see what he was trying to do to pick out Robbo, but... Uh, Craig, you crack me up. No nonsense. Our defence could leave a thing or two. Um, They could definitely... Need figuring out a thing or two. Uh, I, I don't have time for nonsense though, Sebastian. That's the thing with me, mate. I just say things as I see them. And if somebody comes in spouting misinformation as fact and then trying to belittle us with their own misinformation, it comes a bit annoying at times. And I'm, um, I'm an emotional dude. So yeah, sometimes I probably should not react to these things. But again, it is who I am and I can only be me. Have Liverpool beat United this season? Yeah, yeah, 11-3. Uh, was a great game as well. Salah scored nine. Really good. It's the game Joe Gomez scored his overhead kick on from the halfway line. Can't believe you missed it, though. You should Google it. 11-3, great game. Probably our best one of the season. Maka. Unlucky. Ball kept in, cleared away. Canade to Endo. No disrespect, Craig, but Fabrizio tweeted out quotes. The sporting manager said no agreement was made. I never said he didn't. What our friend a while ago said was that there's been no contact. That he said Fabrizio said there was no contact between Liverpool and Amaram. To which I replied and told him Fabrizio's quote to say there has been contract and talks are ongoing. So I can only give you the information that the man said himself. And again, you're not picking up on the words just right. Nobody said that an agreement uh, or that Liverpool had spoken directly through an Amaram. Nobody said that. Because they will speak to his agent. And his agent would speak to him. So people are just picking up on this information. And running with the wrong part of it. Romano said that contact has been made. And negotiations are ongoing. I've shown you the quotes. What people have seen today. Is Amram saying that he himself. Directly hasn't spoken to Liverpool Football Club. Which is most probably true. But his agent has. See what I mean. The information is in the part not said. <clears throat> prove what you're saying is right I will I'll whisper it into your mum's ear later mate when I'm finished and she'll pass it on to you in the morning so that work prove that I won't see we've both asked each other to prove equally ridiculous things People blame Kelleher's long ball accuracy in this game, but Darwin needs to be winning more. What? I don't get that one, Jake. I don't understand how Kelleher's long ball accuracy has nothing to do with us not being able to defend. But um, it's got nothing to do with Kelleher's long ball accuracy. It's to do with our forwards just not being able to put the thing in the onion bag. And that's frustrating, unfortunately, as well as our, our lapses defensively.
Mum jokes, how crude. Oh, Dave, it wasn't a joke. No, it wasn't a joke, mate. I was serious. No joke. Deadly serious. I'm the housewife's favourite, don't you know? Still in search of this equaliser. Joe has been bad today. I don't know. I think it's just... The game's kind of gone into a pattern of defence versus attack. And, you know, unfortunately for us, we uh, we know how frustrating it can be. Go on. Go on. Salah. Unlucky. Better work, lads. Well done, Darwin, winning the ball, playing it back. And by the way, to all the people who are trying to go in on me on the mum jokes in the chat, I'm going to say something very clearly once. If anybody wants to come in and disrespect me, nothing is off limits. I will rip you to shreds. Because you've come in and been a scumbag. If you want to come in and be nice, polite, respectful, that's what you'll get back. So, if you don't want to be here and you didn't like the mum joke, then fuck off. It's very simple. I'm not here to be disrespected by some little idiot who comes in to try and make a name for himself. I'm here to enjoy the community. I built with people that I enjoy interacting with. I'm not here to hold the hand of trolling little assholes. If you don't like it, go watch Red Men TV, Anfield Rap, Copish, or any of the many other great Liverpool fan content creators. I will continue to be me and say whatever I want. Clear? I hope we've cleared that up. You're very welcome. Respect is earned, not given. Go on, Cody. Darwin. Again, more chances. Unlucky. We're creating a lot more, but still a lot wasted. So, are we feeling a little bit calmer about the game? Because we're creating, but still, unfortunately, wasteful. Goal is coming, said Zop. Oh, Benfica have gone 2-0 up. Benfica, that's a good lead for them to take over um, Marseille. Love the... Oh, hang on, Sebastian. I'll get to your comment in a sec, bro. Ball in. Oh, again. Semi-wasted. I think the offside flag was up. Uh, Sebastian said, Love that people go for you, then cry when you reply. The irony is just amazing. I think you've been too nice, to be honest. It's, it's again, mate. They love to just cry victim all the time. They think they can come in and say whatever they want to me or anybody else. And when somebody goes back at them, all of a sudden they whinge like the little girls that they are. Sorry, that's actually disrespectful to girls. Like the little children, I should say. But you are right, mate. And it is. Um, it seems to be lost on a lot of people in the chat as well. Apparently some people think I'm here to be mocked, ridiculed, disrespected and swore at. And I just have to take it and smile. That's not who I am. And if anybody said this to me in person... Well, I wouldn't be as polite, shall we say. But we are here to talk about footy, so let's try and keep it back to that. 58 minutes on the clock, and it's still Atlanta with a goal to nil lead. As frustrating as that is. We have looked a lot sharper in the second half, but still quite wasteful, unfortunately. Um, Diaz is about to come on now. He's been stripped off, which hopefully will give us uh, another attacking outlet.
again it's cleared Ibu steps across well done Ibu back to Kelleher man on back to Ibu I mean we're making hard work of this eventually offside again just we're making it hard for ourselves here So Darwin's gone off and he's been replaced by Lucho. So Darwin off, Lucho on. And I can't really argue with the change because Darwin is just... Uh, he works hard as always, but again, a bit wasteful. I think we'll still win the title, but if our attack keeps like this, we're not winning the league. Yeah, look, we do. We need to be better. Absolutely. And it's getting nervy now. You know, you're almost at the hour mark and still trailing at home. Ball in. Oh, it's 2 0. It's 2 0. For fuck's sake. 2 0. Skamaka again. They play the ball into the right channel and then look at the space in behind. Look at the space in behind. That is defensively disgusting. Good goal from Atlanta's perspective, but. That is honestly embarrassing from us. Look, where's our centre backs? Look, look at this. Look, look at this. There's nobody within seven yards of them. That is a joke defensively. That. It's a good finish from Skamaka on the half volley with his left foot, but our defence should be ashamed. Virgil van Dijk is leading the worst defensive performance we've seen in a while from us. That is shocking. What can you say? I don't have a comeback on anything in the chat. Anyone in the chat who's saying shocking or laughing at us, we deserve to be laughed at for this performance. How can our centre-backs give them that much space? Van Dijk's over trying to cover the left side and Ibrahim Akinade's seven yards, seven yards away from Skamaka. That's just... Embarrassed defending. Fair play to Atlanta for punishing it. But it's it's embarrassing from us. <sighs> I mean look at the defensive line, honestly. Guys, this is a tough watch, isn't it? Villa 2-0 up, by the way, against Leal or Leal, sorry, McGinn with their second. Liverpool trailing 2-0 to Atlanta. Gianluca Scamacca with both the goals. Cleared. Oh. Twenty seven to go. I don't have any smart comebacks to any of the comments because 
the performances deserve to be ridiculed. Those travelling Atlanta fans look like they're having the time of their lives and who can blame them? They're 2-0 up at Anfield. And almost three. My God. They dra Coop Miners dragged one wide there and it could have been three. This is honestly embarrassing. Truly, truly embarrassing this. It's nowhere near the levels that we know we're capable of. And Atlanta, fair play to them, by the way. You've got to give them their credit. Again, we're on the attack left side. Robbo, another hopeful but not impactful ball. Gomez now, right-hand side. Benjamin said, even though Darwin doesn't play well, what's the obsession with taking him off? This reminds me of the Sheffield United game. First half, so poor. Uh, look, I think you could have picked anyone to be taken off, mate, in all honesty. Um I, I I truly agree with that comment from NBF Forum. We look lifeless. We do. We do. We look devoid of ideas and more hopeful and hoping for something to chance and rather than creating something to happen. Oh, not a great week this, lads, is it? I mean, the very least we need to do now is to get something back. You know, taking a two-goal deficit to Italy's big ask. Hopefully we can at least pull something back here. Jürgen released the assassin. Yeah, I think maybe you'll see 10 or 15 from the Ogo, but another wasteful cross in. Gomez. Salas offside there. Offside flag up. 67 minutes on the clock. Liverpool nil, Atalanta 2. And Jurgen's paying the price for going weak at the start of the game. I mean, a United fan coming in singing glory, glory, Man United when you finish bottom of a Champions League group and didn't even get into the Europa League. It's hilarious, but okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm honestly... Shell-shocked is probably the right word here. But, you know, we've got to be fair to our opponents here as well, you know. They've gone around about their job well. We haven't. So as much as we're obviously annoyed, and we've every right to be with their performance, we've got to give credit to our opponents as well. Atlanta have played some decent football and certainly look like they know what they're at more than our boys out there. Our defence is honestly... If I could say one thing about this game, all in all, it's that Van Dijk has a lot of questions to answer for that defence and how he's leading it, because it's shocking. We're just so open. 
We wonder why teams play like prime Barca against us and then lay down for City. It's because we give teams confidence being wasteful. I, I agree with that, Sean. I definitely agree with us giving teams confidence. We start too slowly, leave ourselves a lot to do and hope for that Hail Mary turnaround. But um, we haven't been at it today. We, ha- we haven't played well um, for whatever reason and we've been punished for it. Atlanta, the away side, have five shots on target. We have two. A home. That's shocking. Uh, Geo said I'm laying here just in disbelief I don't blame you bro I think you're going to be the only one who's in shock at this but just more it's more of a reactive performance isn't it you know where we're chasing things and tr- like forcing it it's um, yeah it is it's just disappointing We are playing like crap, Dylan. You're right. Look, all the banter in the chat, all the comments about how we're playing and our performance, they're all valid. Lucho to Salah again looking for too much time that isn't there Gomez he tries a strike wide goal kick 20 minutes to go plus stoppage time Uh, Tommy said just go home from work are we really this poor yes Tommy my man we are we just look the scoreline doesn't flatter Atlanta we've been terrible and they've played well Um. Yeah, I, I look. I, there's no excuses for me on this one. It's just been poor, and we don't deserve that. from it, at least as as of now. Uh, Marseille have pulled one back. Thank you for the updates on that, guys. And the other one, two one Benfica now. I uh, knew we were in for a bad night first half when Van Dijk leisurely strolled to the ball being chased by his fellow countryman and nearly cost us. I think, Sean, your um, instinct was probably right there. I was the same. I just thought, how? How are you strolling to that ball? Don wants to be a model more than a footballer, said Caleb. Again, I'm, I'm not... There is no one scapegoat for this performance, folks. It's just poor overall, you know? It's uh, it's just been poor. There's nothing else to say. It's not good enough. Do away goals count? There's no um, away goals in Europe anymore, mate. No, they just count as normal goals. Looks like Jada might be getting ready to come on there. Hopefully he can at least pull one back. Take something from this game. Throw into Liverpool. Diaz takes it quickly. Gomez, another throw in. Uh, 
again, another attack breaking down and Atlanta are looking to counter. Thankfully, ball overplayed and Kelleher comes out and gets it, plays it out left side to Robbo. Oh, we've been picked again. Endo gives it away this time. Three on three. Skamaka. Cross in. Deflection. Thankfully goes straight to Kelleher. We have no rhythm. I agree with that. Fifteen minutes to go and still no closer to looking like um we're getting back into this. Here comes the change now, Diogo coming on to replace Endo. Great to see Diogo back playing. Good to have him back, but I wish he was returning in a slightly better circumstance. The referee's given a free kick to Liverpool on the edge of the box. Diogo already looking lively, trying to make something happen. For those saying it's a penalty, it wasn't. The touch was outside the box. The clip on his ankle was just outside the box. It was outside. It wasn't a pen. It was outside the box. For those asking in the chat, it was outside. cross in again it's just another wasteful high cross that's oh here Gomez taking 30 yard shots now for the love of god goal kick is Gomez thinking he's gonna stick a top bins here from 30 yards never scored in his life goal could have been twice as tall I don't know why Klopp's giving out to everybody else like, I love Klopp on the sideline giving out to everybody like it isn't his team his tactics his selection Oh, <laughs> 12 minutes to go. Still. The Atlanta fans, the happier in the stadium. Again, ball slipped in, but it's too far ahead of Diogo Jota. Keeper comes out and claims it. Diogo looks like he's more tuned in in the three or four minutes he's been on the pitch than uh, most of the other boys who've been out there. He's already looked like he's going to try and uh, make stuff happen.
so Salah scored, but he looked offside, and the flag goes up. He looked offside, and he was offside. Yep, he went too early. He was offside. No goal. He was offside. Yep, confirmed offside. Oh, now we're giving away handballs on the edge of our 18 yard box. These lads, honest to God, our defenders, lads, just, I don't get it. Like, Oh, nearly a third. Our centre backs are embarrassing, lads. Kanati is actually embarrassing. Van Dyke's embarrassing. This is pathetic. Look at the state of this. Look at them. Skamaka just having a field day, doing what he wants there. Our centre backs are awful. Awful. Asleep. No man marking. No responsibility taken. Just weak. Robbo, down the line, Soboslai, back to Robbo, again, easy enough for them to clear, Oh, what is that? What is that, Dom? I... It's fucking three. It's three. It's three nil, you absolute clowns. Oh, fuck off. Three nil at home. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. A disgrace. This is pathetic. How do you concede another one, you absolute idiots? Sobisly, poor. <sighs> Three nil, Atlanta.
Gasparini looks in shock. Can't believe the 3 0 up. Ball cleared off the line from Adelanta. Look, we've given it back to them again. They're on the counter, for the love of God. I, this is... I don't even know what to say. I'm trying not to go in. I'm trying not to be disrespectful. I'm trying. Oh, God knows I'm bleeding trying. Five minutes plus stop, it's time to go. And it's 3-0. And Atlanta, credit them. you got to give their opponents credit, but this is embarrassing. We're going to end the season with just the Carabao Cup. Watch us collapse just like Arsenal last season, said Tom Bowen. I've no comeback. I've no defence. I've no words. This is disgusting, disgraceful, shambolic, embarrassing, pathetic, not good enough. Any word you want to use, it's fair. Fair play to our opponents, but this is disgustingly bad. Yeah, people are saying fans are leaving. They are. They're walking up the steps and out, which again isn't isn't a great look, is it? But we've got nothing. They've given us nothing to get behind today. It's been a pathetic display. Van Dyke's captaincy has been a joke. For people asking, no, it isn't 4-0, by the way. That's about the only positive I can give you right now is it isn't 4-0. It's 3. Ban the fake scores. Best of luck, you try to do it. There's too many of them. <coughs> it is The only upside I can give you is it's only 3. Yay. This is... I don't have any response to this. It's pathetic. Oh, Salah missing a header from 10 yards over the bar as well. Look, I don't have any retort to the people in the chat who are bantering us. We deserve to be bantered for this performance. 
fair play to Atlanta, but look, any banter we get here is deserved. I'm not even going to try and push back against it because they deserve to be bantered because we've been terrible. Absolutely terrible. Imploded at home on a European night. Nothing to say. I mean, as everyone's saying, fully deserved win for Atlanta. Congratulations to them. I'm just obviously angry, heartbroken, frustrated. Everything that you're all feeling. And another weak shot. Three minutes added on by the referee. It has been coming. I agree. Nessie said, so we need to score four. We can't even score a goal these days. Good job, Liverpool. All that big talk after United and down the Anfield drain. We'll see better days. This is our rock bottom. We can only go up from here, said Scott Patrick. It's hard to... Try and see any positives from this, lads. We've been absolutely dismantled at home. And it's not good enough. It, it's just not good enough. It's unacceptable. And I don't want to hear the players come out with their crap after the game. I don't want to hear Van Dyke with a pathetic rallying call. Your actions are what gets judged. And his leadership... Of that joke of a performance. Pathetic. Pathetic. There's, there's nothing else to say. Nothing else to say. Look, if you can, hit the subscribe button if you're new in. We've got 8,500 people in the chat. If you hit the subscribe button, at least it'll help somewhat. And this really, really, really disappointing, to say the least, night. One minute to go. corner don't respect your opponents this will happen I think that's a fair comment AG I think that's a fair comment Klopp will say that they were respected but this performance wasn't a very respectful one was it it's not impossible to still get through the next round and go to Dublin but it's going to be hard to get a win because they'll just sit and defend. Look, we don't deserve to go through. If you lose 3 0 at home in the first leg, you deserve nothing. It's obviously dinking one out left. Again, we're still trying to walk the ball into the net rather than actually have a shot. Instead of under the match, can we do crap of the match? It's all over. The ref is blown up. It finishes at Anfield, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but it finishes at Anfield. Liverpool nil, Atalanta three. The lowest of lows has been hit, and we we should be ashamed and embarrassed of that performance. Congratulations to Atlanta, or Atlanta, excuse me. Full credit to them for coming, scoring, winning, deservedly. Well done to Gasparini and his side. 
I couldn't be more ashamed of a performance than I am of this. This brings me back to the 7-2. 3 nil at home in the second tier European competition. What can I say? It's, it's, it is embarrassing. There's no other words for it. I'm going to be back with a match reaction and I'm no I'm not going to sugarcoat the match reaction. So come along and join us and we'll pick the bones out of this and we'll say it like it is because tonight's not a night for going easy. Tonight's not a night for not calling it out. Tonight's a night to call out that embarrassment for what it was. A disgusting, shameful, pathetic display that is just isn't good enough. It's hard to believe we're so high up in the league after tonight's game. We were beaten and deservedly beaten. Fair play to Gasparini and Atalanta. I'll see you guys for the match reaction in two weeks.